Hi everybody, welcome back to Hijinks and Handlebars, a Kids on Bikes actual play live stream. Uh, I'm, I'm used to yelling after saying that, I almost just yelled at myself, which is generally <laughs> counterproductive. Um, I am your uh, keeper, Game Master, William, uh, what, you look what do we really call it, different. Game Master Jonas uh, for GM. the day, GM. Um, yeah. GM for Hijinks and Handlebars. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, just some quick thank yous right off the bat. Thank you to Hunters Entertainment for creating this game that we yeah, play. For publishing it. Publishing the game that we play. Thank you, William. Yeah. Um, for giving us uh, this backpack uh, that William often brings. Um, dice with skulls on them that maybe William's even rolling today. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of see a skull there. Uh, thank you to Q Times for, for being our host since we've started this show and uh, creating the space that we play in uh, physically. Uh, is it going to focus? The cameras that focus on the dice. Um, and uh, thank you to all of you for watching and everyone who's drawn any any art about our show, any uh, art of these characters. It's getting there. You can tell it's a skull. It's good enough. Yeah, that's a um, good skull. It is a good Hunter's skull. Uh, and there are five very good skulls at this table, uh, one of which belongs to me, uh, your game master, Jonas Newhouse, they, them. I am William, they, them, and uh, today I'm playing Nami. She, her. Uh, hi, I'm Sam Richardson, he, him, and I'm playing a character named Miriam Webster, she, her. Hi, I'm Chris Taniguchi, and I'm playing a character named Shay Nakazawa, he, him, he, him. Uh, Franny Morrison playing Evelyn, Evie Lynn, and uh, we are both she, her. Evie Lynn. So do you go by Evie? Is that a thing? No, I'm no. Evelyn. Evelyn. No. Middle name Evie. Oh, name. Evelyn, Evie, Lynn. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> No. My, my last name died with my husband. So. Mm. Oh, sad. Um, it it didn't always like that. <laughs> it didn't always like it. Um, so yeah, you will notice things are a little bit different today. Um, we're doing a uh, a story that is in main continuity. Um, some time has passed since the last episode. Uh, I don't know. We don't need to do a recap because yeah. you won't need to know necessarily any of the context. It might help a little bit if you're familiar with the characters, but probably not even a ton. Uh, the only character who is part of our main cast who will for sure be present today is Shay Nakazawa, played by Tanamato over there. Um, everyone else is playing new characters. I'll be playing primarily new characters, maybe some surprise uh, familiars. We'll really, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, uh, anything else before we kind of jump into the story? Yes, Sam. Uh, do we want to do quick character descriptions since, these, sure. since people have never seen these? Maybe that's a good idea. No, let's do no? it in media res. Okay, some, cool. Wait, sure. like, we'll, 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 we'll just, like freeze frame. Early like, on, we'll be introducing <laughs> your character, so there's, cool. there's a good opening for that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... We open on the third event of the Stiles County Agricultural Society Gardening Fair competition. Uh, the first two events have passed. Some teams have won. Some teams have lost. Uh, everyone is looking in fear at the Mohawk Green Thumbs, as they seem to be taking the lead this year, uh, as they tend to. And as Councilman Jake fires off for the, this, uh, this third event, the Repot Relay... Uh, Nami, you are our first runner. What does Nami look like as she is holding this potted plant? And what does the plant itself look like? Uh, what does Nami look like? Uh, Nami is, uh, kind of, uh, short, uh, Asian first, or she's an immigrant from Japan. Cool. Um, who kind of looks, uh, she's got like a button up and some glasses and uh she looks like she watches a lot of hunger games she watches a lot of hunger Um, games if you've seen episodes of the show before i'm playing i'm playing shay's grandma yes shay's Um, grandmother which uh, her first name is nami nami um and also i've never gone into this fully um i'm not gonna do a japanese accent but nami has a japanese Mm -hmm. accent Mm -hmm. i i believe yeah so I wouldn't. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's a okay. But yeah. but, but know that it is in there. the world. Nami has a Japanese accent. Cool. Um, so yes, Nami is uh, ready to take off as the first runner in this relay race. You're all set up for second, third, and fourth shift. I have, um, I'm carrying a potted plant. Carrying a potted plant. What does it look like? What kind of plant? Do you know what an oddish looks like? Like the Pokemon. <laughs> the Pokemon. So, <laughs> carrying like the Pokemon. Uh, carrying uh, a bulbous pot 
this uh, kind of dark bluish bulbous pot that has it just looks like hair leaves poking out of the top of it. Cool. Come on, Grandma. Come on. You um, got this. You so, got this, Nami. And as the uh, <laughs> the 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 rose launcher fires, signaling the start of the repot relay, Nami, you begin to sprint as fast as your legs can carry you. Um, can you give me a flight roll to see just how fast that is to kick us off? That's bad news. Bad news, maybe. <laughs> Did I tell you all to max in flight? Three. three. Okay. <laughs> um, what if we all take our pluses in? Did we just get to decide, or are we doing the regular brains and grit? Or? Um, you can decide, I suppose, since you're all adults. Yeah. Um, you can't, I'm going to take them both in flight. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just, yeah, you can I'm just gonna, choose those, put them in. Um, I'm going to min-max. <laughs> so you, uh, you're you not in last place. There are five teams here. Um, and just, just to go through all those teams are, uh, and Councilman Jake is kind of calling these out as it goes, uh, uh, he says, Well, it looks like we've got the, uh, the Mohawk Green Thumbs in the lead. Big surprise there. Pompadour Green Thumbs taking a close second. Liberty Peak Green Thumbs <laughs> taking up fourth with the Beehive Hornets holding right there uh, in, in the middle. And, oh! Oh, and coming into fourth from fifth, we have Representative Nami from the bald, jolly green giants, green thumbs, weeby weeds, and that's okay. Uh, so you so. are currently second to last um, <laughs> um, running. And uh, the person that you just passed from the, I believe it was the Pompadour green thumbs, uh, <laughs> um, Brian, uh, he looks at you scowlingly, and you notice uh, that he has picked up a stick, and he's aiming to throw it at you. What are you gonna do? He wants to slow you down. Does that throw a stick at me? He seems like he wants to throw a stick at you. I'm gonna chastise Brian and say that his children, who I know are in the stands, would not approve of that, and it would change their outlook of him forever. <laughs> cool. Uh, roll. What do you want to do? Charm. <laughs> I, I do, baby. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, and I can really read people, so sure. uh, I'm skilled at reading people, and so that'll be a so plus So that was three. exactly what he needed to hear. Yeah, it's 18, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're right, Nami. I, and I ended by going, It's not a fair way to play. Did, did do it, coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, and he just stops dead in his tracks as uh, Rivers, who is in the second shift for the Pompadour Green Thumb, is like, Brian! Brian! What are you doing? What are you doing? And Brian's like, I don't know. This isn't how we're supposed to be. <laughs> um, and you take off, and you reach, in second shift, your grandson, Shay Nakazawa. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting for the handoff. You are there. This seems so like a pivotal moment. It is. In the repot relay, the uh, second step here, or maybe sort of the first step, is to remove the Oddish type plant from this pot, and Shay, you will be bringing it to whoever is in the third shift. Okay. Um, okay. How are you approaching this to do it quickly and cleanly? We've practiced this at home for the past month. It feels like this should be like muscle memory at this point. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, it's a quick. We, we're going in, and like right, right when Nami's about to get to Shay starts flipping it just like upside down mm -hmm. like and which you know could be dangerous but it's like it's meant to be a fluid full like circular motion mm -hmm. where it like goes upside down just enough to loosen and then like before it even gets fully out of the pot the pot is still circling so it clips the uh, the edge of it to to flip it back mm -hmm. up up again as mm -hmm. shay is grabbing it with Ad advanced repotting. Advanced, advanced re repotting. Yeah. This is an advanced technique, the team. <laughs> Ball, jolly, green giants, green thumbs, weeby weeds, and that's okay as implementing. Let us see how it goes for them. Uh, Shay, what do you want to roll to pull that off? And if you feel like you need a roll as well, Grandma, you can. Um, but this is Shay's roll um, from here. Uh, because of the technical nature, I'm going to roll brains for this. Cool. Mm -hmm. Brains feel very appropriate. Also, it's a lot of steps to remember, you know. Oh... That's a five. That's a five. Okay, so you go to turn it, and the idea is sort of as it falls out. <laughs> I know I don't have it. to roll, but it just Nami nailed it, right? Uh, Nami, Nami nailed it, and yeah. here's the thing. You might want to roll now, because you see it is about to slip right between Shay's fingers. He just didn't set it up right. What do you want to do to save this? Um... Oh, when I got into fourth place, can I mark adversity, by the way? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. What do I want to do? Save this. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it fall, and I'm gonna kick it back up like a hacky sack. <laughs> nice, cool. Um, 
Grit. Grit. Can you grit? grit. I, I, it feels like a, like a fighty move to me, but I mean, like, grit. Uh, make an argument for grit. Why Why is it gritty? Well, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to think here, because... Uh, it's a tenacious move, I think, right? Yeah, like... Grit. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say grit, because I'm, like, really focused. But that could be brains as well. Sure. What um, about... What about flight to catch it before it reaches Fl- the ground? Flight makes a lot to of to sense, like quick reflexes. I, I could see up. grit in in that you knew this was a possibility. You needed to hold for it, and this is you releasing that uh, yeah. that, that held kick. I'm personally, yeah, from William's perspective, just um, every time something falls in front of me, yeah, I kick it. <laughs> cool. Because you know what? Because That's I, gritty as hell. Because I played so much hacky sack <laughs> when I was younger that like when the, like a remote can fall. Or like something that's really hard, and like instinctually I'll go to kick it. I'll hurt my foot most, <laughs> but it'll uh, look super yeah. badass. Sometimes I kick it back up to myself. I'm like, that's why I played <laughs> every day after school for like three years. Roll grit for me. Grit. Okay. Grit. I like grit. Hacky sack is a gritty game. Tell your parents. Six. Six. Six will just do it. Um, so you're able to kick it up, and Shay, it kicks ah. it up right back into your hand. You catch it as you meant to immediately, um, uh, and you're just holding the plant now. Uh, I'm sorry. I. I ah, oh, my foot. Oh no! Are you? Oh, oh shoot! And then I run. You start oh, running. Yeah. You ah. run, and uh, so you. Uh, it was. It was the Pompadour team that is in, in dead last now. Um, you pass the Beehive Hornets uh, runner, Bob, who is running to their next runner, Bobby, um, who is running to their next ru- runner, Big B. Uh, and uh, you are going to, which of you is next? Um, uh, Miriam's next. Miriam's yeah, next. We know Evelyn's the anchor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're running towards Miriam. Um, come on, Jay! 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 Come I'm on! Running. There's a good I distance. I see a crack and I jump over it. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll me a probably a flight. Okay. Um, yeah, flight feels most right. Oh no. It's a two. Mark adversity. Um, you do you see uh, a, a large crack in the dirt. And this is, uh, the repot relay gets a little more hazardous as it goes on. So this is going to be <laughs> oh happening. Um, yeah. And you uh, you do jump over the one and you land with your left foot into another even larger crack. Oh no. And you start to roll on the ground. Roll me a grit to protect the flower in your hands as you are. All or the, the oddish. All the blood just life. drains out of Miriam's face immediately. It's a two. Okay, Mark Adversity. Um, you hear kind of a snapping sound as part of the stem, this plant has some sort of stem, um, gets damaged in some way. You hope that you can hide it and that it will not uh, detract. Yeah. Um, for now, you're still okay. You yeah. get up and continue running. I, 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 I get back up and I uh, hand it off to Miriam. It... That was nothing. It's I, fine. I think Miriam has a pot because we're supposed to repot it, right? So yeah. yeah. So, so, so you you are holding the next pot now. Okay. Um, um, it's a large. Uh, it's actually a, a repurposed cookie jar. Okay. Um, in the shape of a, a Dalmatian. Mm-hmm. Um, a little like Dalmatian on its paws, like this, um, and then you just plant it right in the. In, in, an, in an empty pot. Yeah. Um, so what uh, and what does Miriam look like uh, as this is a uh, new character to us? Yeah. Uh, Miriam is an older white woman. Um, she is 69. Uh, she has bold black uh, frame hipster glasses. Okay. Like she was just trying, she was just getting new glasses right at the time when uh, those hipster glasses were like really in. Mm-hmm. And like she was like, she was like, oh. Well, I suppose if that's what's in, uh, and the, so she just decided to get those. But her glasses cool. are actually super thick, so they're hipster Great. frames. But she has just like huge. Her yeah. eyes are just like huge, real, real like um, Professor Trelawney. Yeah, looking. Yeah. Uh, she has uh, wavy uh, blonde gray hair and uh, uh, a flower, flowery like sundress on. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get it in the pot, um, mm-hmm. and this is an empty pot for now. The next step will be to dirt the pot, uh, and that, of course, is what Evelyn is on standby for. Uh, you take off running. Both teams, uh, Mohawk and Beehive, have a pretty decent lead on you. Beehive is almost to the next leg. Mm. Um, Mohawk is halfway there. Um, you take off running. Uh, is there anything you do to make yourself faster or possibly slow down your competition before you hit any obstacles? Um, yes, uh, I would like to, uh, use prepared, 
Okay. Um, to have remembered to put my uh, shoe inserts in my shoes. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, because I think uh, Miriam has plantar fasciitis, um, which means her, her the arches in her feet collapse if she runs uh, okay. on Gosh, just okay. regular shoes too long. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is just prepare to have prepared yeah. for this eventuality. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay. um, so yeah, spend two adversity tokens to have that. Okay. Um, and instead of flight, is your brains better than flight, it looks it is. like? It is. Uh, why don't you use brains to have remembered this thing that will help you run faster? Great. <laughs> okay. Just so I'm clear on how you made an... Uh, you created a problem for yourself. <laughs> you, you solved that problem. Yep. And now you get to roll a higher die. I asked if he was going to do something. <laughs> he spent tokens for it. Um, the tokens were in place of a roll. Yeah, that's a nine. Able, so. a that's nine. A nine. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, Team Mohawk, who is between uh, this leg and the next, um, you, just about halfway, you run past Charlie um, as they're sort of huffing. Um, and, like, and I... No, go ahead. Uh, and I'm just like, no, no, not you. And I say, my feet are feeling fantastic. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> we'll catch up to you, you know. Did, don't forget your inserts. You're too far away for me to respond. <laughs> and you approach uh, the final member of the bald Weeby Weeds abridged title, uh, who is our friend Evelyn. Evelyn, what do you look like and how are you standing as you stand near this giant pile of dirt ready to fill the pot? Um, so Evelyn Evie Lynn is 101 years old. Um, and uh, she is so cool. She's like... Uh, she's got the most colorful, um, clothes on. She's adorned with, uh, every kind of accessory, um, bracelets, necklaces, beads. Um, so she jingle jangles all the way. And, uh, um, she has silky short white hair, snow white hair. Um, and, uh, uh, she might sound familiar, um, because Gertie, was able to meet her one time and was inspired by Evelyn um, for a D&D character. Um, and, uh, okay, so um, mm-hmm. Evelyn, oh, Miriam. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, <laughs> and she she runs, uh, uh, Miriam runs, runs up here and then uh, uh, is skilled at judo. <laughs> Yep. Uh, so you just take uh, uh, does a, a front flip uh, to uh, hand off the pot in time. All right. Um, just get the momentum going there. Yeah. Uh, do you want to make that a, a roll that will then possibly help you get a leg up, or do you want to stay at your same place in the in the uh, in the relay and just just do it? Um, I think she's just showing off her potential cool. suitors. Cool, so. absolutely. Um, you do roll me a charm just for fun then to see how those suitors possibly react. Okay. Um, but this will not affect your standing in the relay. Great. Um, roll for cool. so not one. one. Well, cool. One. Well, that one. I mean, because like this is for this is the part of the skilled at judo thing, right? Oh, right. So you would add a three. Well, I mean, like anything nine or if the if the thing That's is nine true. or below, it's an automatic success. And know? I would say to 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 attract the attention of some number of suitors, that would be a nine or below. So you okay. can't just do that. You okay. just um, so you just regularly get to attract suitors. <laughs> As long as you do a front flip, which you do, and um, there is some whistling, a couple of applause, and and one of those applauses you can tell is is very polite. Um, You can't quite identify them from the stand, but there is a very polite applause in response to your judo flip. Excellent. Um, And you reach your teammate. Uh, You're standing there a huge pile of dirt. How are you going to get it in the pot? How are you going to dirt the pot? What's your plan, team? Oh, maybe lose my damn shirt. <laughs> beautiful, I think, Miriam. Thank you, thank you so much. I've been, um, it, it's it's sort of getting out of hand. I need to uh, probably see a doctor. The but, pot, uh, the pot. The pot, um. Uh, so I'm sure that Miriam and uh, Evelyn have, have practiced this at some point. I think maybe, if you're okay with this, Evelyn has a trowel of dirt ready to go. And Miriam is just like, when she flips, she kind of like points the, the... <laughs> The cookie jar out and uses the momentum of the flip to keep the plant in it. Cool. So that the trowel can, can just kind of like immediately put dirt in it. Cool. Wait, what's a trowel? It's like a tiny shovel. 
Yeah, oh, it's those little I gardening the, shovels. So wait, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna like pop the oddish out. It's gonna land on the trowel, and then I'm gonna. Are yeah. we planting in the ground or in the in, pot? In, in the new pot? In the new pot, which yeah. I have. Which yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you you have a pot with just the plant in it. <laughs> okay. You just need to get dirt in there. Okay. So I think I don't know. How do you how do you want to do this? Um. Wait. So there wasn't dirt in there already? No. Oh. No. No. This is repotting. Oh, so okay, it's okay. A, it was an empty pot. You put a plant in, and now you were putting oh, okay. dirt in it. Oh. So I sh- um I have um I got uh, a bag of dirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh. So I think I'll just. Take it. This is going to be in one smooth motion, and I can cool. roll the flight for that if you want. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, if, if you want to do one contained smooth motion, a grit feels appropriate to me. Okay, if that's I'll cool do grit. But uh, what I'm hoping, what will happen now is just I'll take the pot uh, uh, with my teeth. I'll take the plant out, scoop in some dirt, and go boom right back in, and then do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the forbidden denture technique. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, four. Four. Uh, it's not bad. It's not great. So, uh, it's a little clumsy. It slows you down a little bit. Um, you're not able to get quite the fluid motion. You kind of have to readjust a little bit. You're going to have to help out Miriam to, uh, to get it done. Um, readjust a little bit, but you do have the plant potted just as the representative from team Mohawk catches up to you. Oh, diggy dang. (laughs) 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 Um, uh, Evelyn, um, uh, pulls out some, um, super glue. <laughs> <laughs> Playing dirty. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Because oh. she, uh, she could care less about this mohawk person. She said diggy de blang because she saw that the little stem was broken. So she <laughs> super cool. glues that and she was like, boom. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> you know, cool. It's uh, quick setting. Yeah, yeah. quick setting. <laughs> I guess she's running towards Takes off running. So <laughs> you are neck and neck with Alden, um, who has been the winner. Um, he's been on the winning team for the past 12 years, just kind of moving around cities. Mm-hmm. Um, and this year he's on Team Mohawk. Um, the Team Beehive representative, Bruce, is a little bit ahead of you. And as you're running, you see your final obstacle slash sort of uh, challenge. There are uh, a dozen people with hoses, six on either side, spraying over, um, sort of like a slip and slide, um, oh over you. God. You need to get some water in it to water your plant. You do not want to overwater it. And you don't want to overwater yourself. Um, how do you want to roll for this? What is your strategy? Flight. Flight, cool. Yeah. Maneuver, be quick. <clears throat> Go for it. Roll me a flight. Uh, ten? When is this anime ten? coming out? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll work on it. Um, ten is good. So you, um, yeah, you're like you've you've practiced this as well in your many backyards. Um, you're kind of dancing around streams. You're going through this a little bit, and you get just the right amount of water in there. Um, <laughs> as you notice, Bruce and Alden both kind of slowing down to not overdo it, and you take the lead straight through to the end as you push through that green ribbon and the entire field of people cheer, I assume the team included. And, and, and you hear a hot diggity dog just sort of uh, <laughs> descending from a dozen people in the stands. Hot diggity. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. Wait, wait, wait. I say hot diggity. You all say there's like ten people. <laughs> <laughs> you all Not say Not mommy, hot. Evelyn. You did such a hot good job. Hot diggity. Evelyn. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Hot diggity. Oh wait, Shay. Oh, sorry. I say hot diggity. Was it on three? Is that what? Dog. Hot diggity. <laughs> wait, uh, everyone. <clears throat> that that wasn't. We just won. Oh my gosh! I know. Did, did we? Did we? Team just Ball, win? Jolly Green Giants, Green Thumbs, Weeby Weeds, and That's Okay wins the third challenge of the oh day. Oh my gosh! Have dog. Have dog. dog. Have, did we do that? Have we ever won a competition before? Well, yeah. Oh this is gosh. their first time winning any competition. Well, we haven't won. I can't believe the I've competition. lived to see the day. Well, oh, challenge! I can. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I can't. Can too. they hear me? <laughs> we can't hear them. We're guessing. <laughs> wow. I think one of them reads lips. 
Um, at this time, all of the uh, volunteers who are organizing this event are starting to tear down this part of uh, this, this challenge um, in this big this field. This is so quick. Um, They're like, you won. Okay, let's get yeah, it. Very organized. Well, they have to get set up yeah. for the Well of Love challenge, as which is starting as pretty soon. Sh <laughs> sushing us all away. Um, nice. Evelyn's like planting poppy seeds and like watering them. Like, <laughs> you, you have absolute fans for yeah. sure. Yeah. You're, you might be our, like, ace in the, in the in hole. The hole? That, huh? but, yeah. Ace, ace in the trough? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, lo I just love the image of Evelyn just having a pocket full of poppy seeds that she just spreads mm -hmm. wherever she goes. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we won that one. Guys, I, I mean, like, that wasn't even us at our best. We might be able to actually, like... Yeah. All right, but I'm afraid we're cursed on the next one. Why? What do you? We've got oh, last place on we this one. Stepped on a crack. Oh no, Miriam! But nobody broke their back. It's just a well, not yeah, yet. That's true. It's just a crack, Miriam. It's fine. It's not just a crack, Shay. We've talked about this over and over again. When Archie stepped on a crack, the fur it was the first time in his life. <laughs> oh no. The what? The furry. Archie. What? what? When he you... stepped on a crack the first time, he broke his back. Who's Archie? Her, her oh. husband. My husband. Oh, oh, Archibald. Okay, I, I'm sorry. No, Archimedes. Archimedes. Oh, yes, Archibald was the... The first one. He was one. the fling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But we called him Archie because saying Archibald and we all live in the world. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, you know, Evelyn, I think I saw a couple of... Uh... Miriam! Oh, That's Miriam, there. sorry. Uh, Miriam, I think I saw a couple of, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, some suitors that oh, took Shay. interest. Oh, Shay, you, you flatter me. Um, no, definitely <laughs> not. Oh, definitely oh, not. Not your caliber. Well, no, I'm just sure that no one saw my very impressive judo front flip. Everybody saw that. No, I'm pretty sure it was Everybody behind the, the shed. Snap. It was I right heard. behind the shed. I know you, Evelyn, you saw. I appreciate you. I heard whistling. You. I heard snapping. I didn't hear any whistling. <laughs> I can assure you I heard a whistle. And you turn to see the entirety of Team Mohawk standing with three of them with their arms crossed uh, just behind you. Uh, and that came from Charlie, um, who is who has very like kind of dark sunken eyes, black hair that's kind of an emo swoop. He's about seventy three years old. I'm sorry, they are about seventy three years old. And they say, "There was whistling. They were very impressed with all of you. Don't feel too good. It only gets more difficult." Piss from off, here. Charlie. Yes, yes, yes. Piss off, Charlie. Be nice to them. Be gracious. And this is Alden, um, who is of course the champion of the garden tournament. I'm so sorry for my friend. Um. We do want. We 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 wish you well. We we are we are very proud of you and happy for you. Yeah. We wish you well too. And you know, just for the occasion, I knew there was gonna be a loser because there always is. There was. So I made some pumpkin muffins with chocolate oh. chips. Well, I would I would happily take one. Thank you. I'll take them all. It's I, for the I, team. Well, thank you so much. I, I, I will say. Okay. I, let's okay. 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 Let's okay. 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 Good. It shows off your eyes. Thank you. I like people to see my eyes. They're wonderful. They're a beautiful shade of um. They match gray. the muffins. They shift. They appear to be gray at this time. Oh, your do muffins are delicious. Thank yes. You. I made them myself. Uh, well, I think I... that we should be taking our leave of you to prepare for the, the well of love. But we just we hope you you are having a good time, and we, we you know we we hope to best you uh, in, the, in the next couple of challenges. Just to. To make that known. I don't count on it. If you hear of any suitors, please let me know. Yes, I'm sure we will. Shay? What happened? What was th what was that? What was what? The, was that a good thing that happened? No. I can't tell. They're, they're just... So that they beat us every year, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that... We beat them in one competition one time, so they come over... Like, they've always been... Furiously mean. This is true. Yeah. Just Even Charlie. Oh, always. As he's all of them. smoking hot, but they, he's such a mean person. Char they. Charlie's they. there. Alden was he. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, th this entire competition, everyone's cutthroat. 
everyone everyone wants to win, and when they don't, it's a real problem. It's so Shay, true. I'm gonna need you to to start. I'm I'm sorry. I know this is your first time joining us. On, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I I it's my first time on Varsity. I I I know I kind of. Uh... You've been great on B Squad. You've been really wonderful. We we really love. Everything that you've done with all of the trainees and all of the new members and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, and I love being here. We, I love being here. We couldn't do it without you, literally, since, you know, what happened to Daniel? Archie. Well, which, not everything is about Archie. Okay? Well, most really things are about Archie uh, in my life. Archie days. died long enough ago that we replaced Archie with Daniel. Oh, yes, of course. Of and, course. Then, and then Daniel moved. Yes. On. Yes. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you find something about that? Funny? I'm sorry. No, it's no. I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Kidding. I know. And then while you're gonna need to step it up. Of course, yeah. But not uh, on the cracks. Don't step it up on the cracks. Yes, and 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 uh, I'll have the ne next time I'm repotting. I won't mess up our uh, maneuver. It's okay. I did. I, I wasn't expecting this to win anyway. And and when that happened, it it really helped to get, to get my hopes down to be really I don't mean this to be insulting <laughs> to be very surprised and excited when we did in fact win wait where does this put us in the point standings we're first uh, well it depends on if um, <laughs> we're not we're not <laughs> first so, Evelyn this might be a good time just to give a little bit of an idea of what I'm imagining this competition looks like so uh, it being a gardening uh, competition one of the main things you'll be judged on is your grange display um, that everyone is going to be approaching at the end of all of these challenges. Okay. Um, these are basically like bonus points um, that will be taken into consideration for that. So you'll get a certain amount of points from the ranking of your Grange display, and mm -hmm. then for every challenge you win, get a certain amount of points as well. Um, but the Grange display is like the most. It's like points. the. It, I'd say it's like half the points, okay. and then you could like match up to that point, up gotcha. to that like point total if you win every challenge. Okay. okay. It's kind of how I'm thinking about it. So gotcha. um, I am. I'm keeping track of like where that's all going. But and yeah. so with this one, for example, you were alluding to. Like there was a racing aspect, and there is how 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 the plants though, right? That's the yeah yeah. So yeah. there, I basically, if you had like broken your plant at the end, you, it wouldn't have counted as a win. Okay. But because it was fixed, you were fine. Um, and then you've also like so the garage display that's at the end is your display of all your work you've been doing. You've transferred a bunch of your your most iconic and bestest plants um, that I'll let you describe when we get there at the end of this whole yeah. thing. Um, can Over the, really, the loudspeakers. Just really yeah. really quick, I want just like one non sequitur, like bit of cool. dialogue we hear on the in between. Cool. Um, I'm just kind of realizing there's like a 30 year difference between you and Evelyn. Yeah, but she, she is much older than me. There's like, that's like three shays. Isn't that's that so crazy? Many... It's so many shays. That's, and then. <laughs> cool. Um, Councilman Jake comes back on the loudspeakers. <laughs> Says, all right, everybody, we're uh, getting uh, finished setting up for the Well of Love. Our volunteers will be passing out your uh, your roses pretty soon here. So I would start uh, strategizing, getting ready. And remember, the clue will be different than previous years. So newcomers, you are not at a disadvantage. <sighs> Um, there are volunteers, which are pretty much all of the young people here, like under the age of 55, are volunteers who are doing a lot of the, like, setting stuff up on ladders, moving things around, um, checking in with people with clipboards. They all have t-shirts that say, uh, Agricultural Society on them. What um, are, what are those, um, uh, air guns, are they called air guns? Like, um, in games where you can... Like, t-shirt cannons? Oh, like, like t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I, I was imagining there was, like, a, a flower <laughs> launcher that um, oh, okay. Councilman Jake has, but yeah. Oh, um, no. No. Uh, no. Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn takes it. She's like, excuse cool. me, I see oh. a couple people back there that look a little hungry. Oh. She, like, loads in some muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, I don't know how a seat... Watch out in seats 2B! And <laughs> you see the people turn their heads, and one of them just gets, like, dunked in the head with a muffin, but the other people start catching them. <laughs> and they go down the area. I say dig it out. I'm just kidding. Okay, Thank you, on. champion! Dog. But, yeah, now... No one else do that. This is mine. <laughs> um, a, uh, a a young boy wearing uh, ripped jeans um, 
uh, and kind of has like moppy curly hair, green eyes, uh, walks up to you. Um, Shay, you recognize him as he says, uh, how, how are y'all doing? Do, oh, you, do you have holes in your Do you need any, um, oh yeah, well, yeah, oh, I like it that way. Grandma, um, it's a can... fashion thing. It's cool. Or, uh, oh yeah, I like these okay. glasses. Yeah, a lot like that. Um, uh, good it's job uh, winning the, the last one. Um, I'm Thanks. just going to check in, see if, if any issues have come up that you need me to report back. Um, and I can kind of explain the next challenge to you also. Uh, yes. And this is Dairy Nazari for anyone tuning in. <laughs> of, you know, of hygiene and Hannibal. Well, well of, clo- of course we all know what the, the well of love is, but Shay here, it's Shay's first year. Yeah, so yeah, if you wouldn't a mind a quick um, refresher. So there's going to be, um, we do a similar thing to this every year, but... Uh, there are going to be four people um, at those tables there um, that, that uh, my coworkers are all setting up. Uh, mm-hmm. So you all, between the four of you, um, you know, and you can all talk to all of them. You're going to need to figure out which one of them is to be the secret uh, recipient of, of this rose. Uh, and he hands you a rose, Shay. Oh. Um, you're going to talk to them, see if you can figure out the clue. Uh, mm-hmm. And one of them is the well of love that the rose is to be placed into. So if you can find out which one of them that is, give them the rose, then you will win this challenge. If you choose the wrong one, you just won't. It's kind of a binary yes or no. Uh, okay. So it's like a like like a, like a speed dating, but for picking the right pot. It's been it's been described that way a little bit. Yeah. But the pots are people. So yeah, speed dating is is accurate. Um yeah. Um by the way, thank you for like sponsoring our team. That's like of course, I mean, yeah, you know, I, I, Belinda's salads can only do so much for you. Figure the Nazarees can I help don't, out I don't a little. I want to hurt Belinda's feelings. It's look, like, I, she, she's great. She means well. I'm happy that we were able to provide some additional assistance. Because like it's, these, these new um, cardigans are like really yeah, cool. I was surprised all the words fit on the back, but. But god dang they do. Yeah. Evelyn um, did a very good job. <laughs> you did. You did, Evelyn. Thank you. Um, I don't know Evelyn. I did. I, I repotted that plant like that. You did. We were talking about... The cardigans. We were talking we're about the cardigans, cardigans Evelyn. Evelyn. Oh, What's I, that? I oh, those. yes, of course. And uh, Derry, <laughs> uh, clearly not being called away, goes to be called away. Shay? Yeah. yeah. Is, that's What's one that? of your friends, right? Yeah, that's um, that's Derry. Derry Nazari. Really nice and uh, Nazar- the one of the Nazari boys. That's yeah. right. I knew I recognized the, him. The youngest one, I believe. The youngest of the Nazari. The youngest one. Yeah. I no wonder. I, I I think I was retiring about the same time that he was starting to walk. Mm. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, and we the the first competition we ever did was was when mm, was it Matt Met- or Donia? One of the one of the older ones was just leaving high school. Was uh, was oh, leaving. Yes. Time. Oh, Yes, I remember that. Yeah. What a wonderful. Why doesn't Barry come over more often? Uh, well, I just some stuff happened. And he seems like such a nice boy. He's got beautiful he's, eyes. I mean, and beautiful hair. He's one of um Frankie's friends. So uh, um, Franklin Fox, oh, the I've Fox boy. Of Franklin the Fox, Fox boy. How is the Fox oh, boy? Oh, what a rascal! Uh, we talked about. I like him. We talked about. This he's you know he's at he he went to this boarding school boarding school boarding oh. school that's where he went oh that's right that's so right. Evelyn he won't be around anymore well that's that's too bad I, I lacked his energy around this town I think we all did we all did yes uh, he was so... always the one setting fires to think you know it was quite nice because I would just go by and something was on fire and I'd get a little it's bit always warm. entertaining something for the daily bob to report yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah. A controlled burn a controlled um, burn so this uh, uh, this uh, this the, 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 the next event is happening what uh, this what? is really our problem I think this is why we always lose yeah, we spend too much time talking about the Daily Bald. I remember last year, we we talked for so long, we actually missed <laughs> one, of, one of the competitions. That would be so... It's so funny, because I remember that. Yeah, and that would, the final what chapter. are we talking about? <laughs> that would, yeah, that would be so bad. Uh, we shouldn't let that happen. Definitely should... We were talking about 
In the Daily Bald, in the Daily Bald, there was a story. There was a story about the mayor. It was my one hundredth birthday. The hundredth birthday, the party that the the, the city council threw for you at at city hall, out on the green, in front of the no. They brought a a cake out of nowhere. Everyone was there. Okay, 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 okay. Let's 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 focus on the next event now. Uh, So who? Mommy, you need to unwind your kid. You need to calm down, you know, take life oh, in. Oh, you, 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 I, I love you to death, but you life. seem so uptight. I know. It's scary. <laughs> you hold so much tension in, in your, your shoulders, in your back, yeah. You know, I've also, can I see your hand? Shay, Evelyn, Evelyn uh, incredible at reading incredible. hands. Incredible. Oh, incredible. I, oh, thank you. I, I was just going to do the massage. Mm, incredible, incredible at that as well. So <laughs> thank you. Now, Shay, what you yeah. have to remember about gardening is that you let out all of that stress through the trowel. Mm-hmm. That is what gives the plant life. And you know... Gives the plant life. Plants can sense stress. Yeah. Evelyn, can you take that one more time? <laughs> 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 and you know... <laughs> plants can sense stress. Uh, Evelyn... <laughs> the road sorry. cannon goes off. <laughs> Councilman ah. Jake signals the start of the next chapter. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Um, um okay. so the idea here is <laughs> there are four people, um, four quadruplets, uh, sitting wearing three-piece tuxedos, which I hope is a thing. Um, one at each of these tables, um, and there is a chair, uh, an extra chair at each one. So one of you could just go talk to all of them. You could each take one. You could all talk to all of Wait, them. How many are there? Um, four total. Four total. Um, um, so it is up to you how you want to divvy it out. This um, is an important question that yes. I must ask for the sake of my stats. Are they adults? Are they adults? Yeah, so they, they are all in the 55 and up range. <laughs> I thought about making Nami really good at talking to kids, but really bad at talking to adults. <laughs> okay. It's not too late. That's true. No, I did do it to an adult. Yeah. I, I think Nami's good at talking to them. Okay, cool. Yeah. You freaking rock. It's You're where I learned how to be good how, at talking to adults. Hey, uh, Jonas, how yeah. old are these quadruplets? Um, they all appear to be like in their 70s, about your age exactly. Okay. Um, and also I will say, so you all get to go and talk to all of them first before the other teams get to go because you won the last challenge. That's kind of your leg up. Oh, okay, Very cool. And do we, so we have like a certain amount of time to talk to them before we have yeah, to choose? Yeah, I mean, or? it's, I'm, I'm not going to put a number on it, but yeah, okay. it's, it's, uh, you're, you can't take too much time with them. Okay. Don't be intimidated by these young warper snappers. So they're they're very attractive. If I if I do say so myself, they're quite the lookers. Oh, Miriam, I maybe not the right time. I mean, like. Oh, maybe the I'm perfect just time. Maybe the perfect time. We're giving someone a rose. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. And how do you know if it's the right person? Oh, how do well, we know if well, it's the right person? Well, you just know in your heart. You yeah. know. You identify the well of love by the clue. The clue. What, is, what Shay? What is the clue this year? Uh, you will find it through talking to them. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, sorry. <laughs> to be sorry, yeah. okay. <laughs> to be a little clear. Okay. All right, yes. So, so can you run me through the rules of this one more yeah. time? You're gonna talk to them. In talking them, in talking to them, you will hopefully identify the clue that will tell you that they are the well of love. All okay. right. I think we should each take one of them. Mm-hmm. And then we'll reconvene, and then we'll. And we'll say, here's here's what we've got. That way, we, we can do it all at once. That will save time, because we don't have long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then... Uh, yeah, and let's say just for, for rules, and, and to, to make this simple, between the four of you, you can talk to each of them twice. So, like, you can okay. go back to each of them a second time. Okay. It doesn't seem like this is one of those dangerous ones, <clears throat> right? Like... <laughs> one of them pulls out breath. <laughs> Yeah, um, Miriam, you can put your wait. cane down. Oh, well, okay. Well, if you would sit, I mean, I was also just, you don't need a cane. Why do you carry it around? It's mostly for aesthetics. Uh, I wait. Okay, mm. I have an idea. If we limit ourselves to three of them and spend more time with three of them, then if we eliminate those three, we know the last one is still the winner. So we're going. So we to... can spend more time with three of them. And then if none of them are the well of love, we still know who the well of love is. Okay, so we're going to neg one of them. No, I'll I, I still talk to one of them. I don't want them to feel left out. 
Well, oh, if, yeah, they're, that's okay. if they're the one, we'll give them the rose. <laughs> I don't this know which yeah. strat worked last time. Oh, we, we didn't win last time. We didn't, time. Didn't, we didn't even do this so one. Oh, we no. missed this We one. talked <laughs> through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, world time is ticking, but I don't give a shit. Okay, okay, everybody, we just gotta do it. Let's. Okay, three. Wait, I have one more idea. <laughs> this is why she's on the team. Two. Hold on, Jay. what? One more. Wait, don't do that. Okay, okay idea. sorry. Um, and then uh, she she's like, do the three of you trust me? With my life. Unending. Always. Okay, uh, I want to walk up in f- where all four of the judges can see me. Okay. Um, just basically right in front of all of them. Okay. Um, and I am, you. I am going to start weeping. Just op- like like Watch full this, on this snot, like just com- like zero to a hundred instantaneously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just like <laughs> breaking down in front of these four judges. And I'm going to see if any of them come over to comfort me. Okay. Meanwhile, um, Evelyn has pulled out a Kleenex box and she's like, "You go!" Just <laughs> 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 like dollars. Yeah, just like doing little. Just catch one of them. <laughs> and I, um, I would like to. Uh, Nami would like to read each of them. Great. That's some, that's a great idea. Um, roll me a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Three. So their job, the job of all these potential rose, uh, wells, is to stay at the table mm-hmm. and to not talk to you unless you are sitting in the chair mm-hmm. um, so that they don't accidentally give you more clues than you need. Mm-hmm. Um, and though it is compelling, uh, and though Nami, uh, na- Nami, uh, uh, yeah, Nami, mm-hmm. um, you can tell that, especially like uh, Sierra and Dion, who are the two uh, third and fourth, um, the, the two who are third and fourth, um, they especially, like, they shift like they're going to get up, and then they get the better of themselves. Um, none of them break protocol. They all remain professional. Um, but you do affect them to some degree. I don't know what that taught us. <laughs> they're two well, pros. It seems like Sierra and what's the other one? Uh, Dion. And Dion. They had an instinct to come and... I don't think any of them were the well of love, frankly. (laughs) (laughs) I do think, I think if we'd take one, Mm -hmm. I think that I liked your idea about leaving one of them out. I'm a well of ideas. You are. Uh, Maybe you're the well of love. Maybe we were the well of love the whole time. (laughs) Grandma, does it work that way? You know... I'm not sure, but I bet if we play the game, we will find out. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think I can... Permission to go first. Permission granted? Permission granted. Okay. Go for it, kid. All right. Are you going to go to Amy, Beatrice, Sierra, or Dean? Uh, I am going up to Sierra. Okay. Yeah, as you're walking up, I lean over. I know you haven't seen it much, but he is so good at talking to adults. You, you're going to be blown really? away. Well, well, uh, well, he's wonderful talking to us, so... Uh, nine. Okay. Hi, uh, g- good afternoon. Uh, my name is Shane Akazawa. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, hello, young man. My name is Sierra. It's nice to meet you as You're well. You're doing great! Uh, can I offer you a scone? Oh, no, that's all right. Okay. You say diggity, I say... And I drop, uh, one of Evelyn's scones that she gave me before. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, um, I'd love to learn more about you. Could you tell me more about yourself? Oh, sure. Um, well, I've, I've traveled a lot. I've been to every country in Europe, except for the new ones. And uh, I've oh, yeah. been to many of the new ones. I just would not say all. Uh, I've had many lovers and many friends. I play the acoustic guitar much better than I used to, though not as well as I hope to. Wow. Um, I, you know, it's so funny. I Most of the... Um, the ladies in our gardening club have been to most of the new uh, European countries as well. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah. Um, well, it's uh, really nice to meet you. I was wondering, do you have any clues maybe about... Oh, I the... couldn't give you a clue. Oh, a, pro, a true pro. Oh, what can I say? Um, it's, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, it was good to meet you too. And I walk away. I think we're all doing them at the same time. <laughs> sure. At this point. So uh, I'll you go. You want to go to Amy, Beatrice, or Dion? I'll do Dion. Dion? <laughs> <clears throat> well, hello. 
Uh, hello. Are you the well of love? Well, I couldn't tell you that. Mm. That's not how the game is played, you know Lean that. back. I almost got them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say almost. What would you say? Well, I would say you had tried to get me. I tried to get you? Well, yes. It was clear that you tried. It was clear that I tried. Um, well, do you have any questions? Yeah, um, a second one. If you're not the well of love, which one of them is it? Uh, she leans in really close. Well, if you're asking my opinion, I think it's Beatrice. But be advised, I have no reason to think so. Okay. But I said if you're not the well of love, okay, you think it's Beatrice. You well, I, I have my opinions, yes. But you have no reason <clears throat> to think that. Well, I, I, have, I have reasons, but not ones that can be quantified. It's more of a gut instinct. A gut instinct, yes. okay. Thank you, Dion. Well, you're very welcome. Great. Uh, so that leaves uh, Miriam and Evelyn to go to Amy and Beatrice. <coughs> Bless your heart. Who's going to go first, dearie? Oh, okay. oh, I guess we're going at the same time. Yes. Um, you can you... go first, Sam. <laughs> um, do you go to Amy or Beatrice? I go to Amy. <clears throat> Amy, cool. <clears throat> hello, Amy. Oh, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. I saw you didn't you didn't even like a little a little bit get up when I was crying in front of you earlier. Oh, oh no, I'm very good at my job, sort and we are told of, to sort stay of here. Hurt my feelings a little bit, if oh. I'm being honest. I'm sorry. I I, I, I was I crying rather hard. Mean to. Oh no 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 oh no I I I only wanted to main, maintain the challenge. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. I am. That's all right. It, it clearly wasn't your fault. You're just paying attention to the game. Oh, oh well, thank you for noticing. So, do you get out much? Oh, now and then. Do you like walking on the beach? Oh, God, no, no. People, uh, waves come in, you just disappear on us. Yes, me neither. Uh, and <laughs> Nami, Nami leans back uh, out of her chair. Um, oh, I, I, I figured out, ask them who they think the well of love is. Oh! <laughs> Uh, uh, Amy, who do you think the well of love is? Oh, I I think I'm the uh, the well of love. Amy thinks she's the well of love. <laughs> <laughs> Great. See, gr- greet her properly. You gotta... Amy, what's your last name? Oh, my last name is Amerson. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Amy Amerson. <laughs> oh, it's nice to meet you as well. <laughs> my last name is Webster. Oh, well, it's a nice last name, isn't it? It's not like the dictionary. Everyone wants to say it's like the dictionary, and I was oh, a no, copy editor like for a very long time, but it's not about the dictionary. Oh, well, people will you say see, what they will. You see, Archie's last <laughs> name was Webster, and I just, it, I, it was traditional in the time that I was raised to take her husband's last name, so... And uh, frankly, I didn't like my my last name's Oxford, like the university. But um, no one is a, is really. It felt too proper. Do you know what I mean? I just... and Evelyn, you're talking to Beatrice, <laughs> the fourth quadruplet, second Beatrice, chair. Beatrice, I want you to know that you're my first pick. Oh well, thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate I, that. I love the name Beatrice. It, oh, it's you. a name I would name my grandmother if I could name a grandmother. Oh well, I, I appreciate that. If if I could name my grandmother. I would also name her Beatrice. Oh, so you like her name, do you? Oh, I would say so. That's nice. It's like you were given to you. Hey, do you like my enamel pen of, of oh, rose? Oh, I do. It is gorgeous. The the pastels on it are, are um, astounding. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, you're very well, welcome. I made it myself. Oh, no. You, di- you didn't. I sure did. Oh, my God. Yes. Um, hey. Do you love Wells? Oh sure, I I love a good well. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? I found the lover of wells, which must be a well of love. Thank you, Beatrice. That's all we have time for. Bing, bing. <laughs> so the so four of you meet up to discuss your findings. Okay, okay. I don't think Sierra's it. So the game, as I. What, what did everyone else find out? I first? think it's Beatrice. <laughs> Why? Because she loves Wells. 
<laughs> Dion also thinks it's Beatrice. <laughs> They all, they, I think they all love Wells. And she liked my enamel pin. My enamel pin can... That's a clear giveaway. Yes. That's a clear giveaway. Anybody can like it. That's a beautiful enamel pin. Thank you. My my granddaughter made it. I lied to Beatrice to see if she wouldn't think it was... Evelyn, you minx. You Sometimes you gotta play, uh, you gotta play the players. Evelyn scandalizes us. Yes, well, I've been around the block a thousand times. If she keeps this up, we might end up in the Daily Ball. (laughs) I wind up in the Daily Ball every year. Because every time you have a birthday, it's monumentous. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Another one! Uh, Graham, why am I not love... with Amy? I'd love it. To... Oh. <laughs> oh well, you have my blessing, sweetheart. Uh, um, I didn't do any research Amy thinks Amy. that she's the well of love. She seems to. What better grounds for a relationship? You know what I mean? Do you guys want to switch up the order? See if we could... Shh. Oh, well, a good idea. Ask. I will. I'll take either Beatrice or Sierra. But but Be- Beatrice. Um, we seem to think Beatrice is the well of love. Yes. I I will go to Beatrice then. Could you do Sierra? I'd kind of like to do Amy again. Oh no 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 no! no, no. Uh, <laughs> later later later. I'll talk to Amy. I'll talk to Amy. Well, if she wants to go to talk yeah, to Amy, yeah, she can again. talk to Amy again. It's not. We're trying to win, you guys. Oh, it's like a game. We love. Love. Amy, I love. I forgot the game. <laughs> They're probably Don't lying stand to you. Way. Amy? I'm Amy's sorry. probably lying. Amy seems so <laughs> truthful. You should find out. Talk you know, they, they find the volunteers for uh, this from the local theater companies you know, and everything. Oh, how about we, we talk to Amy together? I think that's a great idea, Shay. That is an option. It is. That's what we're going to do then. But then we're going to miss out on one of the other yeah, ones. Yeah, well, we're going to miss oh, out. Oh, I, I well, really don't think... let them have their date. Kid, go ahead and talk to Amy again. You, you say, I don't mean to talk over you. I just, this is true love, okay. buddy. <laughs> right before our eyes. I really don't think it's Sierra, but I guess I'll just talk to Sierra. <laughs> I can talk to Sierra if you want to talk to Leon. Okay. That's a great idea. Sierra, you were my first choice. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I just want to introduce myself. You probably know me. I've been in the daily. Oh, world. I'm I'm my familiar. Also, I've Evie been Lynn. seeing all of your no, work today. Freddie, so your sorry. microphone's right there. Oh, <laughs> my name is Evelyn. Don't sorry. And, um, uh, I picked you first. Uh, what was your name, Cecilia? Oh, my name is Sierra. Sierra. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, I just. I How is this going for you? You know, really well. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Yeah, speaking of wells. <laughs> I was wondering, do you love him? Oh, I love Wells. Who doesn't? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more question. Oh, okay. Do you like this enamel pin? Oh, I love that. Uh, I sit down pin. with Beatrice. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, who do you think the the well of love is? Oh, I think I'm the well of love. If you ask me. Okay, and you you don't think it's Amy. Oh, God, I would never be Amy. Why? Oh, I suppose I don't know. It's just sort of a gut feeling. Sort of a gut feeling? And why do you think, because of a gut feeling, do you think that you are? Oh, well, if I am the well of love, then I get the rose. So, I think it's me. Okay. All right. You think it's you. Oh, yes. Uh, Dion also thinks it's you. Oh, does she? And she looks over at Dion... Well, that's very nice of her. Um, but Amy thinks that it's her. <clears throat> oh, Amy would think that. Amy also wants the rose. Okay. But who wouldn't? Well, why doesn't Dion want the rose? Oh, I don't know that Dion doesn't want the rose. Did you ask Dion if she wants the rose? Nice, my son. Um, and so I s- uh, sit in front of Dion... Hi. Well, my hello is... again. Hi. No, I did not talk to you. Oh, no, you talked to uh, my grandma. Yes. Actually, hi. That I'm right. Shay Nakazawa. Well, it is a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Shay. It's really nice to meet you. Um, we're a big fan of this event. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, I was wondering, <gasps> um, why don't you want, uh, you don't think you're the well of love? Well, I think it would be unfair to to suggest that I am, because that would put me in an unfair advantage for getting the rose. Which I would like to have, but I don't feel like cheating. Oh. 
It, is your whole family just competing to get a rose every year? Well, no, uh, it's not. Uh, it's not the whole family for one. Um, oh, oh, are there well, more? Well, I suppose. <laughs> well, there are four that look like us. Well, mm. I, I would say we are competing in a sense, but really, it is you that is competing, right? Against the others. Well, um, and you don't think you're the well of love. Well, I don't have any reason to believe it's me. Okay. Uh, well, it's it's really nice to uh, talk to you. Well, it's been very good for me as well. I, I hope we get to um, see each other more in the future. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Amy, awesome. I have to be real with you. Oh, it's you my, again. My friends <laughs> think that you're lying to me. About, oh, no, I'm not lying. About being the well of love. Oh, no, I, I am the well of love. Amy, can you tell a lie? Oh, I suppose I could try. I haven't lied in 17 years, but I can try. <laughs> Tell me a lie. Oh, God. Um. Oh, okay. I have seven feet. Amy, I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> oh, isn't it? But no. we're clicking so well. Um, I have, a, I have a theory. Can I run a theory by you? Oh, please do. I think we're the well of love, and I think giving the rose to one of the other teams will show that, in fact, we have the most love. Oh. My. God. She leans in really close. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but that's right on. You figured it out. 100%. Wow. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Remember that you can't necessarily trust any of us. She sits back. Amy, this is a bad foundation for a relationship we're building here. I really no, this don't. is not a relationship. Sort of a this hot is a and game. cold I'm getting here. We grew oh, back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I've really got nothing. I, th I think it's Dion. Um, I handed it to Dion already. I'm sorry. It just felt right. <laughs> way to go. Way to go. I think that was the right choice. I think it was a wisely made choice. Uh, before, you came, before you came over here, Miriam was just telling me that she thinks it's us. And no, I, think, I, I, feel, I feel like, like to give to I, I had a like feeling me. this was going to happen, uh, so Miriam. I did it before um, Miriam. Miriam could take it. <laughs> before you <laughs> droplets stand up from the tables and together walk over to Councilman Jake okay. as you're talking. I, what does that mean? I don't know. We've I can go buy game. some more roses that his if we want to try working. again. Wait, wait Shay, 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 come here for a moment. Shay, Shay, come I walk here. up come to... In. Just to me, we're going to go oh, a little sure. ways away. Sure, yes, no, of course. Yeah. What? Shay, um, Shay <clears throat> just, just in case, mm -hmm. you, you mentioned a powers thing to me at one point. Oh. Oh, I... Uh, did I? Um, no. I, don't, I was excited. I, I I took you seriously, like I always do. Mm -hmm. I, I, part of me thought that you were just playing a game or something, but it seemed very serious to you at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm not saying I want you to shock my worldview at the moment. And this might not be the right time for it. But if you were to do it, what would happen? If I was to do it... <clears throat> And I uh, pull up my hand like this, and I cup it, and I rolled an at 20. Wow. And a little rose pops out of my hand. Are you, I see, oh, uh, yeah, you're a magician. You're learning, ma you're learning sleight of hand. Uh, and then another one comes out of my hand. Um, but this is kind of an intricate trick, I suppose. I mean, and you design. They both start like growing really fast. Ah, sorry, that wasn't uh, part of the thing. Uh, so I have plant powers. And I could have just showed you, I realized, but I was so excited that I just yelled it at you. Well, hold on, hold on, just one, just one moment. You have plant powers, so you like 
What you just did that was just right out that was out your, out your body? Yeah, they... I, I don't know. I don't think it's from my body. I think it's like there's a, a space. I don't know. It doesn't hurt. Hold on. Just w- one second. I'm, internally, I'm like, my heart is really racing. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, of course. I'm okay. sorry, Grandma. No, the, yeah, this isn't normal. Oh, my God. This is normal. Well, Why are I we can... doing this here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So conveniently. Oh, oh. Your ability is to make roses? No, I could do any plant but you can do roses i can okay let me process this roses we'll talk about it later i'm in game mode right now yes and i'm kind of worried that you're in game mode right now i need you to make a rose (laughs) and we're gonna say that dion is a liar if we find out that we're wrong Uh, grandma and you had a rose the whole time grandma shay what it's it's the hunger games out here (laughs) If we don't win, we lose. No, Grandma, it's like Spider-Man. We can't... It's... Cause, cause great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, I love the Tobey Maguire movie. So I'm... During this time, the Mohawk Green Thumbs, the Pompadour Green Thumbs, the Liberty Peak Green Thumbs, and the Beehive Hornets, um, the four other city teams, um, they have all, after the quadruplets returned, um, taken their turns, um, talking to all of them, giving roses to some of them. Um, the uh, Beehive Hornets uh, is uh, the only other team that also chose Dion. Um... And they are also the last time. <laughs> um, so uh, they, the, the quadruplets, again, stand up, walk over to Councilman Jake, talk with him for a moment, and then Councilman Jake steps back to the PA system and says, All right, everybody, we uh, have concluded the uh, primary events of this competition, this challenge, and uh, we're ready to announce the winner or winners fairly soon here. I just need one thing from all of you. A foot roll and the uh, audience in the stands, as they were prepared for, start doing a drum roll with their feet. Um, we don't need to do it in the studio. You can uh, just tap your head. It'll have a very similar effect for you at home. Right, right. Um, the winner or winners uh, are the one or ones who chose the following of the quadruplets. And as the drum roll gets louder, before he says the name, do you want to say why you think it was Dion? Um, Dion was the only one that was selfless and recommended somebody else over themselves. Interesting. Yeah. Does anyone else have any thoughts as to why it might be Dion or anyone else? Did Sierra? Did we ever find out if Sierra thought that they were the the well of love? We found out that they loved wells. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, I think you made the right choice. I hope so. Those who chose quadruplet, Dion. Wait, the clue. Which one did we year? choose? This includes teams Beehive Hornets and Bald Jolly Green Giant Green Thumbs, Weeby Weeds, and That's Okay. We won two challenges! These two teams will be the first to enter the Living Hedge Maze, our final challenge. Oh, so I don't think we've ever made it this far. Dig it, hot diggity. Hot diggity. Hot dog. diggity hot dog. Dog. Oh, wait a minute. Dog. <laughs> wait I swear minute. they can hear us. Hold dog. on, hold on, Miriam. Mm-hmm. Hot diggity! Dog! Hot diggity! Dog! One more time, hot diggity! Dog! Oh, hi, baby! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, you said dog! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm supposed to be watching her. Oh, I'm with the beautiful green eyes. <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> The, the the hint, if I can tell you out of character, mm-hmm. um, and I'd say maybe later if we talk to Councilman Jake, he will tell you. Mm-hmm. Um, three of them, uh, uh, Amy, Beatrice, and Sierra, started every statement with O. Dion started every statement with well. Oh. Um, you, know, you know what? I noticed that. Yeah. And I was like... Well, I noticed the well. I didn't notice mm-hmm. the other one's not doing it. Sure. Wow. I yeah. luck. I sure um, luck. So you, yeah, you, you got it, though. Um, what would Sierra have said if, um, if we asked Sierra <sighs> if who the... Um, probably she would have said, oh, I think it's Dion, maybe, because I hadn't said that yet. I was all, Everything other than oh and well, I was making up on the spot. Huh. Um, wow. They weren't intended to be clues. The only clue was just in the phrasing. Okay. Um, Hey, so, but you found it anyway. So yeah, got it worked out. I've never even been in the maze yet. 
We've been, we've been, what, how, what, how, how many usually, years have we been? We usually do so bad we get disqualified. We get disqualified. Before the race. <gasps> wow. Because we just like, I mean, Shay, I, I, Shay. I'm proud to say this. I think, I think you're our golden nugget. Oh, lucky am I charm. Lucky charm. Our golden Robin's nugget. Oh. Shay, you are, you have to. She has to stay with us for every competition from here on out. I Shay? do. Shay, you're locked in now. There's no getting out. Wow. We have, do you still have a copy of the contract? Well, be careful. When she's, she said this to her husbands and they've all died, so. Husband! Oh, I'm sorry. They're Archie all was a fling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, but most of her flings die as well. So. Uh, well, how about. You're um, locked in. <laughs> we, uh. Uh, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> look, Miriam, I'm uh, I have a, a list of potential I'm suitors that are. Uh, well, what do you know? There's Corey just walking by right now. He's a welder. Don't yeah. talk to me. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have the contract. Miriam's, Miriam's whole face is just turning red. Slowly. <laughs> I have the contract right here. The contract. We should talk about the contract before anything else. Uh, what does... But then, Shay, will you just... We just... We can talk about it. Um, well, uh, Grandma taught me never to sign a contract without looking over it because there might be a clause to fight to the death every year inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It is a billion-year contract. Gotta be careful. What? What's the gist of it? What, what does it mean to be on okay. the team? Mm-hmm. Uh, and name here... Uh, we got Phoebe Sock Fox to write this. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Phoebe Fox. The Fox Boy's mother. No, I know. <laughs> uh, you didn't like Phoebe Fox? None of your business, kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, so her name here uh, rel- relinquishes all rights to um, uh, uh, appearance and... Uh, 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 What's that? I'm sorry, I don't have my reading glasses. <laughs> don't forget the non-competition clause. Yeah, the, okay. okay, section B, article 3, C. Mm-hmm. Uh, name here. Shall take no part in any other team. Of course. For it's 10 years, loyalty. if you are let go by the team, you cannot join any team within a 50-mile radius. Oh, no. And that includes the beehive. I know they're a little further, but... I don't like the beehives. They seem mean. They're they're doing like like football psych ups over in the corner. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They're all yeah, they're all jacked. By the way, uh, I, did decide, I decided that in my head before we started. The beehive hornets are all extremely jacked, uh, eighty year olds. Um, now see, I I might be able to get behind that if they would be nicer. I mean, sometimes you don't want them to be nice. That's true. Shake, plug your ears. <laughs> but you can unplug them now. Evelyn I... turns up her ass. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is going to be good. What? I know, I, sh- I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about this in front of Shay. We used to call it the Archimedes screw. Just you and your husband? Well, yeah, my husband, Archimedes. Can you plug your ears again, Shay? <laughs> You know, like the Archimedes screw? I, I just, I'm, I'm, what? The Archimedes screw. Say it one more time, Mario. <laughs> what is, what is that? Archimedes designed a screw to pull up water. I was not familiar. But also, it's a sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Archimedes screw. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, you're funny. Okay, fine. Down, down, throughout the town. <laughs> Miriam, you should tell that story again sometime. It gave me a Evelyn, chuckle. next, next uh, gardening meeting or book club. Are you in the new book club? Let's do it tonight. I'm going to look over some wine. <laughs> you can unplug your ears. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, very good showing in that last challenge, <coughs> says Charlie, as all of the Mohawk uh, green Charlie, oh, come up. Charlie is off. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm telling them to be cool. They you know the what? System. Evelyn Resolved. pulls out some brownies. I made some brownies especially for this. Oh, we this couldn't. Not after because, all the muffins. You know, because we... since you lost again, I made some loser brownies. Oh, well, uh, once again, Evelyn, where are you keeping these? Losers, um, uh, inside we, we actually, myself. We brought something inside for all of my bag. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
we have some cupcakes to thank you. Um, oh. Cheryl, Bart, if you wouldn't mind. And Cheryl and Bart pull out like a big... Don't eat them. They're probably poisoned. But wait, they're, they're beautiful. beautiful. And she like snacks them. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, but those don't, are red velvet. Don't trouble Ask anybody. In. I'll make you red velvet cakes, goddammit. Don't even eat them. Well, that is simply bad sportsmanship. <laughs> and I'm beginning to think that Charlie was right to be rude to you all. Hey, I, y'all were rude to us first. And if there's anything I like doing more, it's being Evelyn, petty. it seems like they've been nothing but nice to us. Well, they, to be fair, Charlie's been a little bit rude, but it's really just Charlie, and that's how they are. Charlie, have you heard of the Archimedes screw? I've heard of it. Like it's it's, like it's, it's a sex it thing. And Charlie turns heel and stomps off. <laughs> Alden just like, I am sorry for them. They don't represent the way that we feel. Uh, I'll, I'll take a... Who unplugged your ears? Oh no, d- uh, d- uh, sex thing. Ah, I just Alden. <laughs> Alden, he's like ten. I thought it would get him to plug his ears. That's not what you wanted. Yeah, really? Alden, do you know if Charlie plug, is single? We plug the ears first. I, I'm sorry, I missed say, the order of operations. And then we say sex things. I just wanted a cupcake. No, well, you didn't. The cupcakes are on the ground. If you want them, we smush, 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 smush. Do- <laughs> Well, that is purely <laughs> evil, and we will be taking our leave of you now. <laughs> though we will be entering late, we will see Alden, you in the living maze. Alden, is Charlie single, though? I'm not speaking to you, and yes. <laughs> Are you single? No, and I can't hear you anymore. They're too far away. They're too, I'm far, too away. far away to respond. Evelyn? Yeah. Were those, were those pot brownies? Yes, they, they were, were definitely were. pot brownies. They of course, she does this every definitely year. Definitely every brownies. single year. <laughs> Now we're definitely going to get Shay, can I unplug my ears now? Yes. Okay. Shay, it's a good thing you didn't have any of those brownies. Oh, Although are the they cupcakes bad? might have been fine. The cupcakes were fine. Oh, well, why no, did no, you stop them? No, I, I thought you were talking about muffins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, those, I see it's sort, of a, it's sort of a Trojan muffin. <laughs> Okay. The muffins are the good one, and yes. then you hit them with, with the, the second brown. one. Yes, yes, the the first one yes. is safe. The it's first fine. one is free. Yes. Them into a See, I've never house. gotten to this point of the game, so it was very exciting. You know, I thought I knew people, but it turns out I just like, it's mind games. You never know people, kid. You just never do. She's 101. Listen to whatever she tells you. I've met every single person on this planet. Oh my god. Shay. Shay, you have to understand, no matter how nice someone is, or however rude or mean someone is uh, in this competition, um, this is like, this is like, um, you know, when, when... It's like the Hunger Games. Uh, it's, well, it's like okay. the Hunger Games. But you know when someone, <coughs> do you know, do you understand the idea of a hall pass? Uh, yeah, I use it a lot at school. Yeah, yeah, I know what hall passes uh, are. School, that's right, they're for school as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. So a hall pass mm-hmm. at school. Yeah, you, you, you. it's like a get out of jail free card, basically. So yeah, yeah. Is that what a hall pass is at school? Well, I mean, sometimes you don't want to be in math class or mm-hmm. something. You know? That's basically it. Anything you do in the hallway, like if you want to uh, pee in a boy's locker or uh, throw teepee down the hallway. Is that not... Uh, no. It's like Shay, it's we, like Vegas. Oh. Plug your ear. <laughs> and the Has Shay never been to Vegas? <laughs> we I thought you the, went to Vegas in the we, last... We go to the hedge maze. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the hedge maze, uh, the living hedge maze, the final challenge of the, uh, the competition here before the garage displays are judged. Um, it, it, it was largely set up when you all arrived, but... Uh, Aspects of it were pulled from both first, uh, the first and second challenge that we did today. So they're still kind of finishing it up right now, um, putting the final touches on it. There are some ladders leaning up over the hedges on the sides as people are doing things in the sort of... There's like a catwalk above where things are dangling from down below. Um, and uh, specifically, there's like a, a, an A ladder um, right at the entrance into the hedge maids here. Uh, and a, a young woman, a volunteer, um, with uh, blonde pigtails um, and wearing overalls walks up to you. Shay, you recognize uh, her as Sydney Powell. 
um, comes up and says, Hi, y'all. Um, I'm uh, supposed to uh, help you you all out, uh, kind of explain the next challenge and stuff. Uh, How are y'all feeling? Feeling psyched up? Feeling uh, ready for all of it? The nice one. Oh, Sydney! Sydney, hi! Hi. <laughs> hi, hi, Shay. Um, hi. I am um, so used... It is Shay, right? It is Shay, okay, hi. Okay, cool. cool. I know cool. your sister. I know your sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Did, has she hurt you? Uh, introduce not us to your friend. Physically. Is this your girlfriend? Hi. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's not, it's not like that. No, uh, no. We're, uh, we're, we, we, we go to the same school. Yeah. Know each other. Ah, young love. No, it's really, um, no, no. Sorry, this is, this is my friend Sydney. She's, Sydney, it's a pleasure to meet Hi. Shay's girlfriend. Pleasure. I'm not... We're really... It's not... Miriam, you no. You're not... You're, you're not. gonna make me cry. I'm very embarrassed right now. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sydney, I'm so sorry. I was it's just... Okay. I was no, it's just okay. I know you chain. mean well. I know you mean well. I, I cry easily. I deal with a lot oh, for my have sister. Oh, we'll some Kleenex and I start Thank you. <laughs> she blows Sydney, her nose. if it makes you feel better, any better, I cry easily as well. And Miriam just starts crying from the eyes. <laughs> just just like she says full this, 100 yeah. sobbing. Oh, Miriam. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, I can just turn it on. It's fine. No. That's if, making me realize how good I have it. If my Shay had a, a, a little girlfriend, I think oh. I would know. <laughs> or a yes. partner of any um, kind, Shay. I know, I know. I Shay, mean, there I, are things about me you don't know. I, but that's not well, a that's well, not let's talk about them. What do we know? No, I, I'm just... Shay, spill the tea. No, yes, what just, is that's the tea? That's what the kids say, right? That's what the they tea. say. You know, sometimes I, I pretend like I'm holding a mug of tea. And then, and I, then you I spill say, it? I, no, and then I say, what's the tea? <laughs> Because like, you want the gossip, yes. the hot goss. Exactly. No, I mean, what, hey, what, 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 what is goss? What, 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 what's it? Gossip. Tea? What, what's gossip. the tea? Shay. Oh, <laughs> Shay. I mean, yes. we're not dating. I'm Shay, just saying. Shay, what's the tea? Shay, what is what is the tea? Oh, no, I think oh. I have some chamomile. Uh, right. Sydney, you were gonna tell us about the rules, maybe? Yeah. Or? So the the living hedge maze. Sorry. Um, it's. Sweetheart, if you need to take a moment, you can. Just a moment. Can okay. we, like... Yeah. So what's oh. the tea, yeah, so what's Sydney? Sydney. Did I Sydney. mention I have chamomile? Mm. Sydney, do you mind if I give you a hug, darling? Um, that would be nice. And Miriam goes and just, like, wraps her in a mm. hug. Cool. And, yeah, she mm -hmm. releases into mm. your hug. It's okay. Evelyn pulls it's out okay. a blanket. Here, go, honey. I made it that myself. Thank you. Okay. All right, Shay. Now, better. what's the tea? Yeah. What's the tea? Now, so remember, tea. I've got chamomile. I... Do you want to try? I mean, sure. you can't really because it's not real. I'll take a sip <laughs> of this. About, about, the, about the Hesmage. Could I have some chamomile, actually? Oh, would absolutely. you would be so kind? It's Thank actually you. pretend, but maybe. Oh, I, I, I play pretend sometimes. Sydney, so I have some it's... chocolate right here. And she pulls out a, a just like a, a, a little or chocolate pretend? orange from her purse. Oh, um, oh my gosh. And just hands it over. A whole orange? Sure. Yes, of course. This is my favorite treat, and I only ever get it at Christmas. Thank you so, I know. so, 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 so much. It's so funny. They're all on sale when it's on Christmas. Time. Cynthia Didn't always takes some from me. Oh, oh no. yes, of course. And she oh. hands one. She yeah. just hands one to each of you. Oh, sorry. I can't. Chocolate doesn't agree with oh, me. Oh, I'm anymore. so. I, I forgot. I forgot. Of course. No, it's um, fair. She, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm You're so all really sorry. nice. Um, yeah, Shay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't mean to cut you off. I did. I did want to mention when you took the chamomile tea from Evelyn and you did, pretended to drink it. We, boy, we really have to work on your pantomime oh. because it like the the saucer got everywhere and you. Uh, it was, you have perhaps to feel we the weight, improv the weight of the mug. It's been a while since I took improv like at the community it's, center. It's so when I give it to you, it's like you, you kind of yeah. have to... You, like, and we can't keep having improv classes. Like we got to diversify weight. a little yes, bit. Add weight to it. For what it's worth, I, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of improv, but I was fairly dazzled. I actually thought it was very convincing. I, oh, I thought you were you. holding a cup Cindy, you're very tea. nice. But they, yes, potential. You. When someone has potential, you got to You have to cultivate it okay. like a plant, yes, Sydney. You can't, I guess that's just not my... You style, know how, like, when you... Yeah, cultivating it like a plant. Like how you... Yes. When you train your plants really poorly. You know, sure. Cultivating yeah. it like... And then they grow. Yeah. yeah. Plants grow. I mean, I I don't really do the planning stuff. I just help out with the administration. But it's like a I trellis. The idea. I, see, I don't even know what Go that on, is. Miriam. City, they're a bunch of well, improv elitists. They're you don't have to listen hey, to what they say. You you, you did a good job. Well, you've good been alive show. as long as we have. We've seen some pretty impressive improv, especially <laughs> as long as these two. Am I right, Shay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, between the two of us, that's like that's two Shays, and then between the two of you, that's so, three Shays. One of them is a century, you know. 
That's very oh, clever. Wow. I Sorry. was there when improv was invented. Oh, really? That's not true, Shay. Don't listen to her. But do take all of her advice because she's 101. So but if I she was. tells you to lie, she'd probably lie. I am 101. She's 101. That's impressive. Thank you so much. I, I, I hope you live many years after. Me too. She will. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, so the living hedge maze. The um, living So we uh, kind of went all out on it this year. That's why they're still setting it up. Um, we are just about approaching the time where uh, you, t- you because you won the last two challenges, you get to go in first, even slightly before the beehive horn. It's somebody right behind you. First. So we're. F- um, they're probably still gonna be setting first? stuff up when you go in there. Um, so like, just like mind the ladders and stuff, but they'll be out of there pretty quickly. Oh, we'll have to move all um, the ladders. They will be moved, of course. Um, no, before we not- go in, they have to move all the ladders. Oh, well, well, well. We're not walking. Oh, Sydney, we're not walking under any ladders today. Oh, well, I hope. Safe. I hope we're not I... walking under any ladders today, Sydney. I hope. Uh, my, Sydney, actually, please tell me we're not walking under any ladders today, Sydney. That, that was the intention, Sydney? but I can go talk to no, Councilman Jake. No, no, no. It's, we, we need to get into the maze as soon as possible. Sydney, yeah, I just we can have a leg up. No. I, I'd like can, you to win the. We the can. Tommy, Tommy, you know? I know. You know? We can. We will. Do you we, know? But that we, is a safety hazard, is it not to have We can do it in a way where you won't have to go under. <sighs> okay. You won't have to go under. You'll be near them. I'm very sorry this is so troubling to you. It's a it's a whole thing. I You'll know, have I to forget. There aren't any, like, broken, any mirrors to break or black cats. My sister hit our grandma over the head with the ladder once, so she's what? the same way. I completely understand. Sydney, sister your own. is a nightmare. Oh, my sister is evil. She is straight up evil. Sydney? Sydney? And, uh, and Nami puts out a hand for Sydney to put her hand in. Um, oh, oh, okay, sure. Sydney, you, are, you are welcome as one of Shay's friends. <clears throat> who I continue trying to get over to our place. <laughs> you are welcome anytime. 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 Anytime you can I, come over to their house. I appreciate a lot. Um, Thank you, Evelyn. I appreciate it a lot. Um, okay. It's true. Evelyn's so, always making something, but do you, ask before you. you bite into it, because you, you, sometimes you don't know. Oh, okay. I would never do a um, Can I bite into this Kleenex? I'm just kidding, I wouldn't. Um, oh, you're so... Okay, so I'm going to get through this quickly, because I want you to get in there fast. Quick on her free. I hope you guys win. There's, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, it, <laughs> you hope we whole, win? I, I, yes, and unofficially, I hope that you win. Um... Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in there, okay? It's like a fantasy uh, setting, so it, it's called the Living Hedge Maze, so part of it will come to life, right? Um, the so Hedge just, Maze? Now are these actors? Yes, um, no, it's very real. It's all magic, right? So, like um, powers? Mad- um, magic. Like magic. It, there's a like, magic oh, I love field, magic. okay? So be prepared for anything to happen. Maybe you'll find some riddles, maybe some physical challenges. You be know. ready for anything. There is a secret rose key somewhere in the maze. And if you find it and find the chest it opens, <laughs> that will have an item in it that, 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 that will give you a huge leg up in the final judging of your grange display. Okay. Okay, okay. so if you can find the rose key and the rose chest. Okay. Um, um, otherwise, just get to the end. Okay, rose key, uh, 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 living creatures. Okay. Anything could happen. Cool. Uh, but, sounds- but just this- one ladder, right? Um, she, she looks over it. There are, like, a <laughs> dozen ladders, ladders all around, around it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, and the ladders won't be there long. It's really just to step around when you first walk into it. Okay. It's, it's that vertigo shot where it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, should we uh, switch out, Miriam, maybe? Maybe we could use one of our bench warmers. Uh, and then I point over to the bench. <laughs> Great. And um, Who's on it? <laughs> Oh, and I get to decide who's on If you want to. Uh, Larry mean... Nazari's uh, on the bench. Uh, okay. Larry Gazari. Gazari. Yeah. Sorry. They're not related. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's Larry Gazari, uh, Baba Vahid. No, um, no, no, no. If we're I, going to I be in council, yes, I can Shay. do this. Yes. I can do this. Miriam, Miriam can do this. And I will say, we'll gather around, chickadees. Okay, so this whole thing sounds very similar to something that I read a very long time ago. Um, Harry Potter. You know what? I think that's it. Harry Man, Potter. And yep. Maze think, Runner. Maze Runner. Oh, oh, I know this, Maze this Runner. This was absolutely Harry Potter. And if we come, if if we come across a sphinx that talks, the answer is a spider. 
A spider? Yes, right. that's right. In, in my spider. readings, everybody remember. Like, in my okay. readings, if you come across a, 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 a sphinx, the answer is a human. No, not in this case. Miria, uh, uh, Evelyn's been everywhere. She's met everyone on Earth. We I should have. trust her. Well, in the morning, it's I, crawling I, I, on all fours, and the like a spider the, does. Yeah. In the oh, in yes. midday, yes, I've heard it's, this riddle. It's walking on two feet. Yes. In the, yeah, I've seen spiders with the two feet up. No, this is a bit a different riddle. I see what you're saying. Okay, um, okay, so the so riddle could be anything. It could be anything. It's the either could... spiders or human. Or human. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It's either spiders or human. Yes. Or has has everybody read The Hobbit? The greatest adventure. <laughs> there and back again. I'm yeah. sorry, I haven't uh, watched or read The Hobbit. I can lend Kid, you my you need to catch up. Smoke! <laughs> well, we all remember riddles in the dark. Just keep that in the front of your room. Okay, okay. <laughs> we step into the hedgehog. <laughs> cool. Around the ladder, though. Um, yeah, roll me a um, flight or a grit check, probably. Uh, can I... Um, I'm just gonna you. hold Miriam's hand. Oh, cool. Oh, I, 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 okay. Anyone who doesn't want to go just <laughs> under the ladder, roll a flight of the grit. Here's here's what I would argue. Okay. I I think this is definitely <laughs> grit. Cool. Um, I'm which very is cool with grit. My worst skill. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, but the very idea that Miriam is even going in here is like a testament to how much she wants to win this competition. Right. Because normally there would be no way yeah. to coax her in here. Absolutely. And that's a two. Uh, so, how does assisting work on like acting under pressure? Um, excuse me. Um, when it's a planned decision, which this is, you can give an adversity token or however many you want to spend um, mm-hmm. to help somebody with their role. So, since this is planned, you can use your adversity tokens to boost that too. Okay. Um, the DC is going to be five to not uh, uh, for something for nothing bad to happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna um, spend two. I guess. Okay. I'm yeah, say, so four won't be that bad. I'm going to say, Miriam, some people are watching. Uh, and Miriam turns back to look at the stands just as they cross under the ladder. Exactly. So with the four, you do walk under it, but you don't even notice. I just miss the ladder entirely. fate does. Oh. You're in the hedge maze. In front of you is a, uh, let's say an apple tree. A big apple tree just straight in front. And there are branching paths left and right that you can see. Uh, At the base of this apple tree is a basket. You cannot see if there's anything in the basket. It's a woven uh, brown basket. Oh, look, a basket. And Miriam opens it. Cool. Um, You go over and you open it. Roll a flight check for me. Six. Six, cool. Um, You dodge out of the way as something um, that kind of goes like, shoots out at you um, and springs and shoots like over your shoulder and lands and kind of like, uh, almost like like a slink you were hopping, um, goes a few feet away. Uh, You all look in that direction and you see what looks like a plushy kind of crinkly snake. Um, not a real snake, but a toy snake over in the corner. Ooh, that really got me. I thought it was going to be a picnic or something. Yeah, let's not just willy. We got to be careful, right? There's traps, probably. Uh, and Ooh, traps. maybe uh, not real snakes, but I, that could give uh, somebody a know, heart attack. It looks pretty real. I mean, everybody check your heart. Um, wait, what Ooh. do we call them? Uh, uh, pulse maker. Pacemaker. Yeah, pacemaker. Everybody pacemaker. check your pacemakers. <laughs> Sure. Well, I don't have a pacemaker. Yeah, I don't have a pacemaker either. Okay, then just me. Okay. So, <laughs> you don't have to check your pacemaker, Evelyn. If you if if it's installed correctly, if I mean, it's installed correctly, mm-hmm. if your if your heart has an yeah. arrhythm, you'll just get a shock and you'll oh. probably get knocked out. All right. Well, so who's gonna be a hey, kid? You wanna? You know what? Forget it. I can take care of myself. Let's keep going. Okay. That was a snake. Um, let's hey, see. what about this tree? Yeah. Well. This tree. Uh, there's I... an apple tree. Or I'm apple tree? Roll, yeah, an apple yeah. tree. Yeah. Merle brains to suss out the situation. Sweet. Seven. Seven's pretty good. Um, so you, you kind of look around the area. Um, you look into the basket, and you see that it had one of those, like, um, canned snakes, basically, mm-hmm. that was designed to shoot out at you when you open it, um, attached to the lid, like, lid attached to the basket lid. Um, and that was just, These as far as you can tell, kids. just meant to startle you as you came in. Harmless. There's nothing more to it. Um, this apple tree is very real, um, 
But you can tell that some of the apples are not. Um, so there are like fake apples mixed into the apple tree. Okay. Um, and you also see, as you're looking around the area, leaning up at the back side of the tree, so like between the tree and uh, another hedge, um, is an axe. This is an axe sitting there. Okay. Um, well, I think let's let's properly. Uh... Oh. Oh, it's like George Washington and the cherry tree. Maybe, maybe we gotta cut down the tree. This isn't a real apple tree. This We're not gonna cut che- down the tree. This is a real apple tree. Uh, Nami grabs the axe and tosses it to Miriam. <laughs> uh, you're, you're a fighter. You can catch it. Cool. Miriam catches it, and she's like, "This is really unsafe. There's not even an edge. It's, it's. There's not even an edge thing on the axe. Sure. A blade guard. A blade guard. Of course. I knew that. Of course you did. I chopped my own wood. <laughs> Um, well, they have to now. I yeah. Uh, Archimedes used to do it, but um, wait a hold. Plug your ears. Did this become a sex thing? Listen, it wasn't about. It was li- out the window, perhaps. But um, no, it's never in the bedroom. Um, you can uncover now. You hear um, a hoo, 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 <laughs> as the entirety of the Beehive Hornets team come just charging past you, and they go left. Uh, I feel like we should go right. I agree. Okay. Um, uh, I take one of the apples that are fake. Okay. And then I pocket it, and then we go... Wait, climb the tree. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I roll flight to... Climb? Um, <coughs> flight... Yeah, flight, climb tree, makes sense. Yeah. Flight, climb tree, makes sense. Three. Uh, yeah, uh, ro- <laughs> I, not roll initiative, uh, mark, mark adversity. adversity. <laughs> uh, yeah, mark adversity. Um, so you get, uh, it's not a, an a, exceptionally tall tree, um, mm-hmm. but you, you grab the only branch that you can currently reach and it just snaps off. I think I got, oh no! And then I crash. Yeah, you fall like a foot to the ground. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. never mind. It wasn't bad, but I, I, I didn't get anything. We need to, I mean, someone needs to know about this axe. They can't just be leaving sharp objects well, willy-nilly. Hold on to it. We know we might come across a sphinx that we need to chop. To kill? <laughs> <laughs> we have to kill the sphinx? I mean, sphinx don't exist, so if we come across one, we'll think, well, this is a dude. It's either going to be a toy a or people. It's it might be a person, person in there, there operating the sphinx. Like yeah. when oh. people with the horse. With the horse, with the two people. Well, but, okay, so then, of course, we'd see if it was fake. But you were talking about axing the Sphinx! Well, if we came across an actual Sphinx, uh, how would we know? How do you mean, how would we know? <laughs> we would know. If it was she's an seen sphinx. a real Sphinx, I, I bet. I think she's I seen a real Sphinx. She's seen a real Sphinx. Yes, I mean, yes, I um, no. Wait, is that where the spider thing came from? She met a real Sphinx and the spider let her go? No. I got her to let go. Wait, hold on. No, it's answer a riddle. Is the spider. Miriam, where were you just went? I want to be there. <laughs> Did uh, the you Mohawk. See one of my brownies. So we turn left, I think. <laughs> turn. Yeah. Turn right. We turn right. The we... opposite way from where the opposite yeah. of the cool. uh, yeah. uh, Mohawks. Um, as you round uh, the corner um, to start going down the right path, um, you see just entering is the Mohawk Green Thumbs, and they see the tree. And they kind of stall, and they seem to investigate it for a while. Um, I so you kind of some clues. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you so you kind of, you you loop around a wall. You kind of do like a U turn, um, and then in front of you there is there's a path straight ahead with three kind of little like hedge partial walls sticking out, and then a path to your left. Um, you're not sure what's beyond either of those. I think we should split up. Oh no! no that's no, always no, what no, happens no, no. in yeah, the horror movies. Yeah, that's the famous last words of the the. The fool. Nami, don't you remember in the Hunger Games when they say, let's all split it up? And, and then, then the, they die. And then the dog gets chased down with the man in the green shirt. In the Hunger Games, you have to split up. It, well, it is, is mandatory. to You can't start Wait, with but, group. but then they pull the mask off of the man at the end. And oh, not, not no. every Hunger Games oh, was like that. No, Mary. Are you thinking of Scooby-Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo! Wait, oh. It's Scooby-Doo I'm thinking of. The live action one. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> well, exactly written, what you're talking about. written by James Gunn. <laughs> what, written by James Gunn. Uh, what, what? Always a surprise. Always, always, always you learn did, that information. Did, didn't they also do Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy. That was uh, the last one, movie I saw in theaters. The second one, one I think, was better than And the I, I roll brains. The second one has it come out? Surroundings. I don't oh, know. Roll brains oh, for I've me. seen the future, too. I've seen them all. Uh, I got seven. <laughs> seven. Okay, cool. Um, so you can tell that both of these are dead ends, mm-hmm. um, but you do see. Um, I guess how much would you see? You, you can see just over um, the wall separating the path to your left. You see a bit of a tree peeking up, and another one off in the distance. Um, a couple, uh, one of which might be down the path ahead. So like, there are more trees either way you go, but neither seem to go to an exit. Oh, and yes, we will have. We would have seen Guardians of the Galaxy two. It just came out. Didn't cool, they? cool. We, we saw it last night. We saw it last night. It was, we did a it scene. came out three months ago. Uh, uh, well, Ball we always have, gets things yeah, made. Yeah, we, like, we saw them at um, the little theater. We should take you there. Guys, sometime, so kid. I think these are dead ends. We're playing a game. <laughs> We're playing a game. We're playing a game. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you you hear the pompadour green thumbs come in. Uh, and get into a tussle uh, with the Mohawk Green Thumbs in the first room. Wait a minute, what if we just chop the hedge down with this axe? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Grandma? Was that the secret ending? Is that the secret ending? Is that how you play this game? I'm not ruling it out, but what, what did you just learn? I mean, they provided us an axe, right? Um, so I, I convey what uh, mm-hmm. uh, Jonas, you told me, yeah. which is that there... However you go here, it will not get you out, but mm-hmm. there are trees, at least, in either direction. Okay. How many... Uh, how many? Like, So you can go back, but how many... Yeah. There, uh, there's one... Explored? and Oh, how many... Uh, directions are there? Um, I mean, if you go left, there are more... Um, more splits. More, right? Yeah, there will be more splits. I mean, yeah, you'll have a few more opportunities to split, um, but it's, I mean, not a ton. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not super sure how to answer I that. Might, I might counting. be a bit directionally challenged in this case. Yeah, I, I would say don't worry about it too much. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not uh, as, as concerned with the exact shape of the maze here. Okay. Um, so why don't you just fly? What, what? Fly? Like yeah, a superpower? Shade. Just fly. Yeah, just fly. <laughs> <laughs> superpowers. Superpowers. <laughs> I was just kidding, kid. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about magic. Magic is in this maze, and we were, <laughs> Evelyn was making a good Shay joke. Shay doesn't have superpowers. <laughs> well, we know <laughs> that. Joke, of course, Nami. Nami. Come on, keep up, now. But hey, Nami, if he did have superpowers, that would be a great chance to use them. Don't yeah, you don't you think? No, Everyone no, that would be a bad idea if I had superpowers, right? Why? Well, but we're in the magic maze. Yeah, we are in the magic maze. In fact, what if I can do magic? Oh, what if on, you can? Let him show him. Roll a d twenty. <laughs> Fifteen. Nothing happens. <laughs> I can't. What if I have powers? <laughs> oh. Can I can I mark experience, Jonas? <sighs> yes, just as once. <laughs> Roll a new twenty or adversity. No, I definitely don't. Mark adversity. I, it's okay. Everybody you're gets hundred, one. You're 101. You. you would have spent all of your magic by now anyway. I I just feel that like <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> if somebody here had powers, it'd be unethical to use them. Why? Of course, but. Given this axe, we could definitely use this, right? I'm not sure I follow the the unethicalness of using the powers. Yeah, why would it be that? Uh, because it's like, um... Well, I mean, not everyone has Evelyn's quick wit, but you wouldn't have her not use that. And not that's everyone, true, that's not true. Not everyone has Miriam's kick-ass spirit. And kick-ass a bit, like judo. <laughs> Literal judo. Well, you wouldn't expect her not to do that. And I'm uh, I'm not I... saying anybody here has powers. <laughs> or that we should even use them if someone did have powers. Like my judo. Like your judo. Uh, all I'm saying is I wouldn't think it was unethical. I as guess... long as nobody saw. So where are we on the axing? <laughs> um, maybe there's a like a 
Is there like an engraving, like a hint on that axe? And then I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, want to roll brain for me. I'm using unassuming to distract them and uh, go to a corner. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. You want them to look at the axe while you? Okay. Cool, yeah. Cool. So you go away to a corner. Um, do you like go down the path ahead of you or to your left? Uh, well, here's what I want to do. First, I want to see how visible the uh, participants of the hedge maze are from like a crowd. If there's any. oh sure, um, um, are, would I be well hidden, or is there an angle I can find that? Um, I I actually kind of imagine that at least most of the spots in the hedge maze there are like pockets in the middle that aren't being monitored, but a lot of it there are like. Uh, GoPros set up so that the uh, audience members can watch. Okay. Um, but you, if you roll brains for me, you might find a blind spot. But you also might not be sure if you did. Okay. Uh, I got a seven. Seven. Yeah. So you, um, you kind of scope out where the camera that's focused on this area is, and you get like right underneath it, behind where the lens should be hitting you. Okay. Uh, and uh, are the ladies distracted by the clue on the axe? I don't. I think that's what. You're right. There is something yeah. here. But okay. you know what I took in my school. While they're just... In ancient Greece? <laughs> yes. Or uh, Rome? Uh, Latin. <laughs> you know, in Greece where they spoke Latin. Uh, that's a 12. While they're distracted. And I think... Uh, what are you trying to it's do? It's over an 11 to not use PowerPoints. Yep. Yep. Cool. So you um, just do it. So... And roll 2d4 for the uh, intensity. Potency. Potency. <laughs> Uh, what I want to that do... That exploded. Uh, seven... And that also exploded. Four... That exploded again. It did a lot of stuff. Fifteen. Again. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> We're at Nineteen. Okay, <laughs> twenty-one. <laughs> hey, Patrick. These are your dice. Oh, you. Patrick. Thanks, um, Pappy. Thanks, Pappy. Uh, 21, what are you trying to do? I want to open one of the hedge walls that could lead to a shortcut. <laughs> okay, so you go into a corner, and you, like, kind of aim towards the center mm -hmm. of the hedge maze, and you, like, you, you start by just, like, try, kind of trying to, like, peek a little bit to see mm -hmm. if you can even do it, mm -hmm. and you split it just a little bit, and it keeps going and going, and you see a path and then another wall, and that starts opening up, and a path and another wall, and that uh... starts opening up, and a path, and then a fourth one opens up, and you see a chest sitting in the middle of a small enclosed, uh, enclosing, en enclosed, enclosure, enclosure, um, right in the center of the hedge maze. Oh my God, Miriam, did you say like a key word or something? Because the oh. hedge maze opened up. I think I said Havana. Close it up again. No, I'm, kidding. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. Oh my goodness. Havana. Wow. Havana. Okay, let's Like go. the song, that hey, was the key word. take credit, you found the right way. Is that the chest? From the, the crowd, you hear a lot of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And oohs and ahs. Well, let's well. go, let's go. I'm rolling flight. Cool, Oh wait, Roll flight. We need the key for this chest, huh? No, the chest is where we find the key, right? No, you need the key for the chest. Uh, <laughs> wait, but if we get to the chest, wait. Wait, I wonder if the axe is the key. <gasps> you were told it was a rose key. The axe could be the rose key. Mary I didn't give you a reason to think it is, but I like it. <laughs> Maybe the axe is the key. Also, whether it's meant to be or not, based on what the chest looks like, could be a key. <laughs> uh, Wait, know, Mario, I think... They well, meant a normal key, probably. Well, then why did they give us an they axe? They gave us an axe. I mean, <laughs> if they didn't want us to use an axe, it seems wrong. Like, should have okay. not given us an axe. Hold on. I'll, I'll try to think. If Okay, so if this is where the chest is, and I saw the maze from the outside, uh, let me see if I can determine. If I was them, where would I put the key? Are you intuitive? Oh, my God. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Where's the key? Intuitive. <laughs> um, the key is in a tree. Oh, it's in the app tree. You, thought, you... Thought, Evelyn. <laughs> intuitively, so you think, oh, well, we put it in the tree, obviously. There's a bunch of trees in here. It starts with the tree, but I know it's not in that one because that would be too easy. And also, I looked at that <coughs> one already. Um, but you also intuit, like, these trees must be connected somehow. They always connect their, like, main thing, and it seems to be trees this year, as well as life. Um, so there's probably some interaction with a tree um, that may be connected to your first 
room experience, um, and that interaction will give you the key. All right. Nami, you look like you just had a brain blast. I, I think the key is in a tree. A tree? Mm, oh okay. my gosh, why that else would they have sense. like yeah, dozens of trees sense. planted? Right, here's the thing. We have to do this quick. You uh, There was a secret word that we said that opened up. Havana! Oh, no, no. I, th- uh, I think it already opened and won't do its magic thing. I, I, Havana! Uh, oh, no, then, no. Um, uh, then Nami's going to start pulling out some puzzle pieces. Okay. All right, and, and handing them to people. Oh, okay. These thank are you. these will be like our breadcrumbs. Oh. Everyone split off. Give yourself a trail. Go to a tree, and find the key, and then come back here. But Grandma, this is, this is your favorite puzzle. You were saving this for later. They collect it back up when you come back. <laughs> Don't miss any pieces. Okay. Okay. I guess let's split up then. Okay. Everyone pick a tree. Okay, we've all picked trees. Yeah, we all picked. Okay, so oh. there are there are two ways to go from here, not including like through the opening that Shay opened, mm-hmm. um, unless you want to double back and take that first left turn. So how do you all want to split off? How many want? trees can we see? Can we see? Um, you can see that there are uh, there, there's basically one down either path that's in front of you, one that's down a path that the um, that Shay opened a way to, and then a uh, another two. One way deep into the maze and one near the chest in the center. So that is actually four total. Okay. I'll no, five total. I'll yeah. take the far tree. Cool. I'll take the tree next to the chest. Great. And then you two can take the ones that are closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, so to get to the one near the chest, um, Evelyn, let's start with you. That is through the um, the new opening, the magic opening. The um, What was the word, Sam? Havana. Havana. The Havana oh, yeah. door. Um, so you go through there, um, as you do, uh, roll me just a quick brains check, um, as you're kind of passing through this second layer of open walls. Two. Two. Okay, you hear a kind of like a, um, but you look around and you don't see anything. Um, you're not sure if you even made that up or not, um, but you, you heard a distinct sound, um, kind of like whizzing past you. Um, you get to that tree, you're looking at it, it is again an apple tree with a basket uh, at its base. What do you do? Oh. A very, Evelyn very carefully opens up the basket and then like steps away. Cool. Uh, <laughs> you do, and nothing happens. I look inside. A snake comes up. <laughs> um, a cobra. No, you you just see like a can. A real like, snake. Like a like an aluminum can sitting in the basket. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll come back to you later. Uh, uh, and then I look at the actual tree, looking at the apple. Are there apples? Yeah, there are apples on it. Are there fake ones as well as real ones? There are fake ones as well as real ones. Okay, I start taking the fake apples and kind of breaking them open to see if there's a key in one of the apples. Cool. Um, roll me a, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a brains check or grit to continuously do that. Um, grit feels like because it's a strengthy based thing. Let's sure. do that. One. You, you sit there for a while just kind of like, just like moving your hands around it. <laughs> Oh no, it's slipping! <laughs> yeah, it's like slipping in different ways, and like no, I, li- I like it, literally just cannot open it. I'm yeah, just like, mm. trying. Um, I need an axe. Nami, who has the axe? Actually, you do. Cool, Miriam. Miriam. Um, Miriam. Uh, so let's let's go to Miriam. Um, Miriam, you're going to the far one. So you go back to the entrance and you mm-hmm. take the left. Yeah. Um, and as you do, you pass I'm, by. I'm sort of hoping. By the way, I sort of knew this was the direction it was going to take me in. I'm sort of hoping that I run into the hornets. Cool. Um, you you do. Uh, so you you see that the um, the the Pompadour team and the Liberty Peak team. Um, they have both gone... And what are their team names? Uh, sorry, the Pompadour Green Thumbs and the Liberty Peak Green Thumbs, they've gone left, um, as of the Mohawk Green Thumbs, the, the Beehive Hornets, um, they are coming back from the left, and they meet you in that, like, entrance area. Um, oh, hello, boys. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Um, we're very busy. We're very busy. We're very busy. We're very busy. Real fast, real fast. Uh, and I'm just gonna, like, uh... I, I think I'm just gonna start to turn on like a little bit of tears. 
just like a, just oh, no, like oh, no, barely, oh, no, just oh, no. like at the edges of my of my eyes. Um, I I dropped a key earlier. None of you would have happened to see a key, would you? No, 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 no. We don't know anything about a key. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, if you know, um, it would really make my day if. If uh, if you do find a key, please just yell. Just do you know my name? I'm sorry. I don't think we've introduced ourselves. I'm Miriam. Um, Bruce, who is the biggest of these, admittedly all big boys, um, says yes. Bruce, Miriam, nice oh. to meet you. Um, you have very firm hands. Thank you. Roll charm for me. <laughs> this has not gone well for her so far. Two. Um, so he hadn't let go of your hand yet. And he kind of does now, and relaxes and says, Yeah, if we find a key, we will yell for you. Go, 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 go! And they all march off down um, towards the Nakazawas. Miriam's shoulders just kind of slump a little yeah. bit. Sorry, Miriam. Um, you take off down the path. Um, you're basically going all the way along the south side and then mm-hmm. all the way up the west wall okay. um, of the maze here. Um, and in that Still corner, carrying this as axe you, you have the, the axe, um, which is like, it's a real axe. Um, mm-hmm. I guess you, you're strong. So you might be dragging yeah. it a bit, but you're probably not. Um, you, uh, you get to the tree. You hear mm-hmm. kind of a commotion. There's a path to your right, kind of mm-hmm. following that wall. Um, a commotion over there, but uh, in front of you is a tree with an open basket in front of it, and you see a crinkly snake in a corner. Can I roll brains to see what the commotion was? Sure. Okay. Where's my D? 12. Too far. 12. Explosion. Mm. Nice. Uh, 19. 19. Um, it sounds like the Mohawk Green Thumbs and the Pompadour Green Thumbs are having a physical altercation of some kind. <laughs> Miriam's just gonna so you, this is just separated by a hedge yeah Miriam's just gonna part the hedge and okay. look through cool what is happening um they're like I, I, I think what they're doing they are in lines like four by four taking turns just like <laughs> slamming into each other um, so they're, they're being um, polite about it but they, they are trying to physically take each other out of the game but does it does it seem like they're doing this over anything, or is it just that? It seems like they ran into each other and they're like they're trying to take out the competition. Um, okay. it, it seems pretty clear that the pompadours started it, and the mohi the the mohawk uh, green thumbs are playing it defensive. Exactly. Okay. Uh, can I keep? Do you want me to roll brains again to take a look at that tree? You rolled In really mind. well. So what do you want to know about the tree? I just want to know if it looks different than any of the trees. Than sure. the, the tree I've seen so far. Oh, yeah, planter's um, knowledge. It does right. not look any different. Okay. Uh, it looks, in fact, exactly the same. Okay. Um, then I want to, like, work my way through the hedge into this conflict. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's come back to that okay. scene. Um, <laughs> back in the southeast corner, uh, Nami... You take the path, um, like, left, hooking left, and kind of going around. It is the closest tree. Uh, and you are looking at a tree that has some fake, some real apples, and a closed basket in front of us. In front of you. I'm going to go kick the lid of the basket. Uh, roll a flight for me. Two. Cool. I was going to give you a DC of one just for this one. So the snake <laughs> shoots off to the side. You're not even close to it. Um, and yeah, you look at this tree. It looks just like the one that you studied so well in the entrance room. Mm. I'm going to search the basket. Cool. Uh, roll me a brains. Okay. Oh, that's an explosion. Cool. These D12s. 13. 14. 14. <laughs> 14. Um, so you look at the basket and like you, you take the can out of it and the basket itself is normal. Um, there's nothing in it. It seems like it was made pretty recently, like it hasn't been used. Um, and as you're looking, you're just kind of like holding the can idly, and you look at the bottom of it, and it says, put the axe back where it belongs. It's written on the bottom of the can. What could that mean? Shay, <laughs> you go to the fourth tree, the fourth <laughs> of five total. So you basically follow the path straight ahead and then hooked a left. You're kind of in the middle of the right wall of the hedge maze. Okay. Um, and there is this apple tree in front of you uh, with a basket <clears throat> at its base that is closed. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, and then I kind of nudge the top of the basket to kind of uncover it with my foot. 
Cool. Uh, roll me a flight or a grit. I, this feels like the way you're approaching it is kind of gritty, but uh, um, whatever better for you. I'd, uh, can I make a case for flight because I'm ready flight is to absolutely fine. You don't even get out of the case. way. Yeah. Any... Flight is very appropriate. Okay. Uh, six. Cool. So you kick the lid off and like kind of flinch out of the way and <laughs> wait and nothing happens. And you look over and you look in the basket and it is completely empty. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess it's over then. And I kind of peek at the tree to see if there are like apples. Sure. On it. Uh, roll me your brains. Okay. To see if there are apples. Roll there are like what? Uh, see if there's anything special about the apples. That's a critical fail. Mark adversity. Okay. Um. So yeah, you you uh you look up at the tree and you slip on something, uh, I... and you fall to the ground. Um, you feel like you maybe lightly twisted your ankle a little bit. Um, it's gonna be okay, but it hurts. Yeah, Especially um, from the crack earlier. It's right. Just... Yeah, and oh, your back no. is okay for now. Um, and so you're you're on the ground and like your vision is a little bit fuzzy. Um, you also maybe hurt your neck. So like turning up to look even up at the tree right now, mm -hmm. you can't even get up to that part of it to see if the apples in it are real or fake, but there are apples. Yeah, um, but I'm on the ground and in pain. Yeah, you're on the ground. Um, you go to bring yourself back up because you feel like you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, you put your hand on the tree and you feel like a divot kind of in the tree, like a um, like a crack in the tree uh -huh. um, that is a few like centimeters in diameter um, that you can kind of like fit your the side of your hand into to help yourself get up, um, which is something you noticed was not on the earlier tree or any of the trees you've seen in here. Okay. Ow. Uh, is anybody, can anybody help me out here? You can probably hear that, Grandma. Uh, what's Grandma. wrong, Shay? Uh, Grandma. Ah, uh, I I tripped. I oh yeah, I'm a coming. A Hold twist. on, I gotta pick up my puzzle pieces. Hold on, I'm coming back your way. Oh ah, uh, and I'm like uh, I'm just I'm still like getting up, and I'm like oh, ouch. Um, I come around the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, hey kiddo, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I just feel... you did a little, a little tumble. Yeah, but like mostly I'm just like embarrassed, like. It's just like a tree. It's no, like a normal tree. Well, worry. it's a mostly normal hey, tree, but no one saw. Uh, uh, do I, I look for the for GoPro? A, <laughs> I look at the yeah. <laughs> oh no! Um, and you can see now it was just a, a like root that you tripped on. Oh, it was coming up out of the ground a little man, bit. Man, I just like, I, this is so like, I'm really thankful you put me on varsity, Grandma. It's like the coolest thing ever, but. I'm just messing up, and if it weren't for this like weird butt crack tree, I'd still be on the floor <laughs> for all the crowd to see. I Sh just Shay, 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 Shay. <sighs> We've never made it this far before. We we wouldn't be where we are without you. You're not messing up. <sighs> and even if you were, I mean, we're just having fun. Evelyn, you just can't crack these dang apples. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't do it. You it's know, not even fun. You know what? <laughs> it's the fake apple. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you bit into like styrofoam, <laughs> painted styrofoam. It's all um, roll a roll a grit check. That <laughs> explodes. Okay, nice. Um, uh, fourteen. <laughs> you 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 bite it and you're like, it doesn't taste good, but I could commit to this. I could digest it if you want to. You also are full here while spitting it out. You are in um, control of well, this ingestion. I'm going to spit it out cool. and then Good use idea. the divot to open up the rest of the apple. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you split it open. Um, and yeah, it just kind of, it's, it's styrofoam. So it like crumbles in your hands. Um, and there is not a key in there, but there is a tiny, tiny little piece of paper, like like the size of a fingernail. Um, a fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, it's just paper. <laughs> Miriam. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, they all turn to look at you. Stay out of um, this. I think she, I, I, I want to say she left the axe in the hedge. 
who okay. I don't think she, I think she's still looking for a suitor. I don't think she wants to be sure. So you left it like where? Okay, yeah, cool. I don't think she wants to threaten anyone with an axe. <laughs> um, um, Alden is the one who is speaking up. Alden from the Mohawk uh, Green Thumb says, uh, "Is Charlie there?" Um, yeah, Charlie's there. Charlie uh, had just gotten done slamming Mikey. Sweet. Uh, Miriam just kind of like emerges from the hedge and she's got just like hedge pieces in her hair and she kind of brushes them out and kind of like, you know, fixes everything. And she's like, hello. Hello. Have you boys some... Um, uh, found- we're doing a thing and, and we're not all boys. Oh, I... My but conscience. I am and I appreciate being called a boy. It makes me feel young again. Have, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a, aggressive now. Have you found a key... No, why would we find a key? We're looking... Oh, do you not know about the secret key? Secret key, secret key, secret key. They're like whispering to each other. No, we don't know about a secret key. We wouldn't tell you if we did. We want to win this, I hope you know. Well, I'd like to win this too, but... Of course, that's why we wouldn't tell you. Can't we all have just a moment here? I'm... Sorry, hold on, it's my turn. Uh, Alden goes and just like shoulder checks Rivers <laughs> to the ground. Yes, I'm sorry you were saying. What are the rules here? We take turns. If you get knocked down, it hurts. <laughs> Hurts enough, you're out. So, if I shoulder checked all of you, <laughs> then you'd all be out? I suppose that's how it would work, but you'd have to wait for your turn. We can put you in rotation if you want. She checks her watch. <laughs> okay. All there's, right. a faint memory, <laughs> yeah. there's a faint memory in Miriam's mind. You hear Evelyn's voice. At the very beginning of this, oh, Miriam, I like your shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and we do 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 back to the uh, Nakazawas. Wait, did you say something about a butt tree? Yeah, it's a butt tree because it's got like a funny butt to it. I just, I have this can. <clears throat> uh huh. Does it say the butt tree is the key? <laughs> No, it says put the axe back where it belongs. Or so help me. Do you know what? Is, is oh there... my god, okay, it's the butt tree. The butt, you put the axe in the butt tree. <laughs> no, that's not where an axe goes, Shay. I was, this is a non sequitur. I'm saying, have you seen like a shed in here or something? <laughs> Around? No, I, I mean, there's a bunch of treasure chests. Oh, uh, that's not a shed. That's where an axe goes. <laughs> okay, I've been told to trust all of you guys. But I well, no, you have your like... own things to bring to. Okay, what's uh, say the thing? What do you think? You think it belongs in the butt tree? Yeah, like it, like you put it back where it belongs. Like it, like there's a like a crevice specifically made for. Uh, Shay, a... if I took an axe and, and cut, like stabbed you with it, like what what do you do with an axe? Chop? If I chopped you with an axe and I left a gash in your side, and then I took the axe away, and someone said, "Put that axe back where it belongs." <laughs> Would you think inside of you would be the place to put it? No. Or do you think it would be in a shed? Okay, let's look for I'm a shed. I'm not trying to convince you, Shay. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. logically, that that feels like it works. But I, you know what? Mm-hmm. Actually, I, I, I trust you. Do you think it belongs in the butt tree? I'm kind of doubting myself, but I'd love to try both. Because we do have an axe. Okay. Um, are you fine, Miriam? Because mm-hmm. Miriam still has the axe, mm-hmm. I will um, take some. I'll take uh, more of my puzzle pieces, and I'll go looking for a shed. Okay, uh, and then uh, I trace back the puzzle pieces, and then I start yelling, <laughs> or I, I go in a direction to go off to find Evelyn. Uh, yeah, and then cool. I yell, Evelyn or well, Miriam. Miriam. <laughs> um, Evelyn, you know, you know, what are you doing? You don't need to. Miriam also put puzzle pieces down, so you can just follow them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I run yeah. after that. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm, I'm looking at the. At the letters, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. this one. Which is not nearly this big. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like this one big. But it's a piece of paper? Yeah, it's a very, it's a thumbnail sized piece of paper. Is or there, fingernail. Is there anything written on it? Um, there's something written on it. I don't, I mean, how, how good is your vision at 101? And if you say perfect, that's fine. It's perfect. It's perfect. So you look really closely. I, I want you to know that Evelyn has on her flaws none. <laughs> <laughs> So you do have 20 20 20 vision. You look really closely and you squint a little bit. And you, oh my god. Um, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> um, oh my god. I mean, if we want to read the whole thing, yeah, I said, none. I think I'm pretty swell and I like my laugh a lot. <laughs> um, Wait, that's in your flaw? Yeah. I like my laugh a lot? <laughs> 
It Pretty says, I like the tree of belonging <laughs> is the tree that has none of me. It's not spider. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miriam. It's your turn. Take a, take a shoulder check. It is your turn. Take a shoulder check. Oh, you're a, and, is, and you are so you are supposed to pick one of the people from Team Mohawk or Team Pompadour. You are supposed to, um, but you feel physically capable of hitting all of them. Uh, so here's what I'd like to well do. Enough. They're lined up in two lines. Yeah. right? <laughs> I'd like to pick. And a you're one. like a third line. Well, I'd like so. to pick one of the lines. Okay. Um, and go at them this way. Mm -hmm. So I can tr attempt to use their own people to knock the other ones down. Great. You shall only check Bowling one pin. and like dominoes. Like dominoes. Cool. Are you going for a team Mohawk or team Pompadour? Team, sorry, Mohawk green thumbs or Pompadour green thumbs? Uh, Mohawk is the one that typically wins, right? Yes. Wait, which one is Charlie on? Uh, Charlie's on team Mohawk. The other one. Okay. Oh, oh your heart. Oh, slight on. Your heart, Miriam. You like me and Charlie, eh? <laughs> okay, this is going to be fight. Cool. Go for it. Roll fight. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a four. Okay. Um, uh, add your proficiencies, I think. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Add your, so you skill that, that judo. Okay. Oh, wait, so if it's less than a nine. Uh, so I'm rolling a d10 okay. for their contesting. Okay. Um, so there's a chance that they roll higher than that. I rolled a one. So you slam straight into Matt, <laughs> who slams straight into Mikey. They slam straight into Brian. He slams straight into Rivers. And they, like the others, fall to the ground. And they all go, Ow! It hurts too much to go Miriam's, on. Miriam's kind of like rubbing We're her insane. shoulder. And, oh, and Charlie oh, says, oh. Cool, it's my turn. And comes to shoulder check you. Okay. What do you want me to um, roll to... I think fight again. I I think that I should roll grit. Okay. Just to be That's perfectly fair. Or brawn. Or brawn. Okay, okay. Right. let me roll brawn. Your DC is a nine. Come on, dice. So two plus one. So a three, which is excuse me, which is fairly bad. Um, you uh, you are knocked to the ground. What would so real quick? I want to know if I'm out <laughs> as um, far as this. So so the outness is on a personal level. You'll know if you're out because you physically cannot go on. Um, it's not like a oh you took too much damage. It's like a. But if the you're difference in you're incapacitated, yeah. But if the difference in in the number I roll and the number yeah. you roll is great enough, sure, then it's like um, it, sh it should be out, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so I want to know if I'm out, and right. if I am, I have adversity tokens that I'd like to spend. To the stay difference in. being six, I think it is reasonable that you might be out or at <laughs> okay. least close to. Okay. Um, so I'd like to spend one adversity token to okay. stay in. Cool. That okay. feels fine. Okay. Um, it still hurts. You, you you hit the ground oh. and you land on your shoulder, but it's your back that hurts the most. And I immediately start weeping. Full, 100% full tears. Roll me like, charm. And feel free to continue describing the tears if you want, but... Um, three. three. Charm? Oh, yeah. charm. I'm sorry. Charm is a, a d6. Sorry. Oh, cool. Three. Three. <laughs> three. Remains three. Cool. Um, Charlie says, I'm I'm sorry that I hurt you. And Alden says, oh no. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I can you must play. be out. That was no. quite the fall you took. Look it up. It's your turn. The rest Miriam, of the team is Miriam, out. like, right. It's like that, that shot from like the level on the ground and it just rises with her as she stands up again. <laughs> The camera's rotating. Yeah, yeah. Do, the do, Michael do. Bay shot. Check me, strong lady. Is this Charlie? Uh, this is Alden. The one oh. has been pretty nice. Char Charlie apologized, but he just went. Uh, they okay. just went. They just went. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I am going to... Here's what I want to do. Um, I want to... I think, so, I have prepared, and I think I want to have something from home that would give me a little bit of extra, like, oomph. Okay. I think this is uh, some time for some superstitious uh, wombo. That's a really good idea. Uh, here's what I have. I have uh, my lucky rabbit's foot. It's okay. fake. But it's from uh, Archimedes. 
He gave it to me on our first date. Nice. And that's how I knew that we were going to end up getting married. Okay. Nice. Um, and so I am going to, like, I, I think I had forgotten that I had it. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of, like, reach into my pocket. I'm like, li- I'm like, as I'm getting up, I think it falls out. Mm-hmm. And I think I pick it up again. And I just take a look at it. And then I take a look back at the other team. And I'm going to take a flying leap into Hell this yeah. team. Do it. <laughs> okay. Roll. Is your fight already to do 20? It is. Cool. Um, and that those are my last two adversity tokens. Great. To spend, so hopefully this goes well. Uh, no. It does not. How well does it go, though? Real not good. What is, what's your total? Uh, two. Uh, and oh, no. Plus skill, plus skill that. Okay, yeah, okay, so five. So five. So that matches. Um, I rolled a five okay. for Alden as well. Okay. So let's come back to that. Okay. Um, uh, Nami and Evelyn, you two run into each other. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry. Physically. Uh, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> You're both still in. Um, so we found a butt tree. I found a riddle. What does it say? It says... Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> it says um, the the tree of belonging is the one that has none of me. Something like that? Yeah. The tree of belonging is one that has none of me? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm going to roll brains. <laughs> That's what I think. It means that you are not in the tree that belongs. Means- you, Evelyn. Evelyn, where did you find this? Uh, the, the tree that does not belong. <laughs> oh, wait. The tree that does not belong is where you found it? Wait, right, Jonas? Uh, wait, I, what did you say? Well, Sorry. Uh, you can think whatever you thought. Oh, but it's fine. Um, You're confused enough that yeah. you could think whatever you want. My, my tree is not the tree. <laughs> when, where did you find this, though? Next to the tree. Oh, it was just sitting on the ground? No, it was inside one of the apples. <laughs> Re- a real apple? Nope, a fake one. <laughs> How did you get it out? I bit it. So it was real? <laughs> nope, it was styrofoam. <laughs> yep. It was like a secret, you know, secret. Okay. Um, do you need me to roll brains to see if the tree I was just at had... Apples? You, you were there. You've been studying them pretty well. It had only real apples. The one that Shay went to, you mean? Yes. yes. The one with the, the butt tree. Although, you know what I forgot? There was a can inside my basket. It didn't go off. I'm going to go check on that real quick. Okay. I do. Well, maybe it... Uh, before, uh, maybe somebody checked it before you got there and it had already gone off. Did you see a snake lying on the ground? Did I? No. Nope. Oh, never mind then. I'm gonna go check it out. See you in a bit. If you see cool. a shed, <laughs> <laughs> you're going back to the tree where you found the note. Yeah. Cool. Shay, I'm um, running uh, to uh, see her, and then I think I catch a glimpse. Yeah, you, you catch a glimpse. You see, of, you see through the the shrubs that she had opened, and I uh, I see Miriam, and I get excited, and I'm like, Miriam, I think the key is the roll flight. Or grit, if that's better, but flight probably is. One. You get grabbed, and ah! you, get, you get pulled backwards into the hedges. And these hedges are pretty tough, and they weren't being parted. Um, so it fights you back a little bit, which which hurts. You're already kind of bruised up shoulders a little bit. Yeah. You're pulled back through the hedges into a dark, dark hedge chamber that is fully covered. Whoa. There's no way that A, the cameras can see in here, and B that it was built by the Siles County Agricultural Society. Oh. And it's very dark in here. Uh, what can I see? Is somebody still on me? Right? Um, yeah, yeah. So you, you, you feel arms on you. Um, uh, what would you like to do? Shoot, I gotta... Uh, uh, I'm yelling and wrangling and doing the, the, the Shay thing. Trying to break out? Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Uh, fight out. Uh, that's a two for Braun. Two. Cool. Um... I think why not? Um, you're not able to. Um, you are so you are like you, you're kind of wriggling, yeah. and you get a glimpse of like blonde hair um, from the person behind you, but they are like 
moving you around this chamber over to what you see is a chair with not a uh, light bulb, but a lamp hanging above it. And they sit you down in it and grab vines to start wrapping you up. What do you uh, do? Whoever you are, I, I don't have anything. I, I'm not tasty. I'm, uh, and my grandma w can kill people, I think. Because she's a survivalist and she does that. You better watch out. Your grandma's a murderer? No, she's a survivor. I didn't say she has. I said she can. She's... Who is this? Cynthia. Sydney Powell steps into the light in front of you. She has, with vines, tied you to this chair. Cynthia. And she's looking at you. Hi, Shay. It's good to see you again. I'm glad that we're friends now. I don't know if I can... So your grandma's a murderer? No, my grandma's capable your of... Your grandma kills people, huh? Oh. Well, that's a shame. Guess I'll have to get her, too. What, what was that last part? Miriam. Uh, you collide with Alden. Okay. <clears throat> Co Alden collides with you as you match. And he basically just, like, catches you instinctively, accidentally, and has his arms wrapped around you. And he's like... Oh, I, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. That's, um, that's all right. Did I hurt you? Um, did you hurt me? No, I, 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 I think we're both okay. I'm okay. I'm that still was in. A flying leap. Alden, nobody catches my flying leaps. <laughs> but Miriam, the only person I caught your flying leap that's ever caught my flying leap was <clears throat> Miriam. Yes. I'm going to do something. Okay. Will you follow my lead? Yes. And Alden looks at you, winks, and shoulder checks Charlie to the ground. Bart and Cheryl still stand. Well, all right then. Uh, and and uh, uh, Miriam is going to spread her arms and leap at them so she can clothesline both of Hell them. Hell yeah. You can just do it. I, okay. Yeah, it's not going to be more that than That just nine. happens. Yeah. Um, um, you get them both right in the throat, knock them to the ground. Um, I love judo. How the clothesline is. <laughs> uh, yeah. A classic <laughs> judo move. They go down, and the three of them just kind of all writhe into a ball together. Um, and Alden holds out his hand for you. Miriam? Yes? Can I join your team? I wish you would. Me too. Let's go win. I heard something about a key or a chest or something. Yeah, and I've got an axe! Also, I believe the the boy with you was screaming not long ago. We should look into that. Shay? Yes, Shay. Um, I go and grab the axe. <laughs> cool. Um, you grab the axe. Nami, uh, what are you up to? Um, <clears throat> Nami is sitting at the chest. Cool. Um, so yeah, you've gotten there. Roll me a brains then, actually. Um, so then you're, you're with there. me then? No. The chest was not at the tree that you were at. It was near it, but... Oh. Yeah. Two. Two. Three. 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 Okay. Um, you you can hear that there are people nearby, but you're not able to make any, any particular sounds. Um, and yeah, the so Miriam and... Or sorry, uh, Evelyn and Nami are separated by like a tier, like a wall, um, but you're not in the exact same spot. Um, so you're sitting in the chest. You don't notice anything in particular. You're waiting for... Uh, I'm, I'm waiting and I'm looking at the... The head, parts of the hedge that, that Shay opened. Cool. And it just like... It's very clean. Like, though there should have been no doubt in your mind anyway, there, there's no way this is like a mechanical thing or like volunteers doing it. Like, you can't think of a reasonable explanation for how this could happen. You can think of an unreasonable explanation. And then... Uh... Mommy's gonna look down at her own hands. And is gonna try and cl close the hedges. <laughs> Roll a d20. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Nami. <sighs> nope. Um, <laughs> you see the side of the of the the, oh, the opening, the door closest to you, start to kind of wiggle, and then you see that it's a leaf falling off, slowly falling to the ground. Evelyn, you get back to the tree that you were at. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm gonna. Is I mean, is the can still inside the basket? Yep, there's still a can in the basket. Okay, I very carefully take it out. You touch it, roll a flight. Oh god. 
Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, yeah, so it, immediately, as it starts to open up, like in the split second that it does, you go into bullet time. Um, <laughs> which is good, because it immediately sounds different than the can that opened in that first entrance chamber. It's less of a and more of a boom. Um, as though someone had put some sort of like explosive device in here. Um, a, a lesser explosive um, does appear to be launching the can away, and you toss it before it is able to uh, pop off in your face. Um, you you're not sure exactly what it was, but it like would have at least hurt you had it gone off directly in your face. And you toss it into the hedges, um, and they start to combust a little bit. Um, uh, uh, the it is, it is grass. They start to catch fire, um, oh, very no. slightly. <laughs> fire! <laughs> fire! Yeah, you start yelling fire, and there are um, there are like sprinklers that are set up up the catwalk here that go off in this immediate area. Um, <gasps> starting yeah, starting to hit you. Um, you can step out of them, oh, okay. um, but uh, yeah, you, you get a little bit wet, um, and you hear some kind of pandemonium off from the uh, the audience there. Yeah. Sounds like what? pandemonium. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, uh, um, is it, was there anything else in the basket? No, it was just the can. Okay, I think then I'm going to go back and try and find Nami. Cool. Um, Nami, you know, went to the chest, right? That was part of the conversation. So you can get there pretty easily. Um, let's go, let, let's stay with that for a minute, actually. So you, you come up to Nami, who's sitting on the chest, looking I inquisitive. I do have that gorgeous wet hair look. Because there's a fire happening. Oh my gosh. There was an explosive. Um, like an actual legitimate explosive that would have blown my face off if I wasn't so quick with my um, reactions. And you do notice the sprinklers now that she says it. Do we need to get out of the maze? Probably. Okay. Um. Well, or we could just stick around. Do we know where Shay is? Shay followed after Miriam. I'm gonna. I'm going to follow Shay. I need to get Shay and make sure that he's okay. Well, then I'll go with. Okay. Shay. <sighs> Sydney what? Powell is looking at you. What are you guys trying to do? What's your angle here, guys? Who, Girls. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm. It's me. Just me. Right here. It's just me. There's something evil happening and your sister's not involved? What makes you think this is evil? I just don't want you to win. Is that so evil? What? Uh, Shay. Shay. (laughs) Sydney, why why would you do this? You were going to be on our team next year and we were going to hang out and it was going to be cool and stuff. Shay, do you know how long I've been keeping an eye on you? Do you know who you are? You're the enabler. You're the one that makes them happy. I mean, you're one of them. I think the weakest one, the one I feel like I can get a good start with. You, you're Frankie's friend, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not. Shay. So Uh since Frankie's gone, And his sister and his other friends are bigger than me. Not that that's much of a problem. I figure I can get to him through you. So you're going to stay here, and you're going to lose the game. And if you're not cool, you'll lose a lot more. So this isn't part of the game. You're just being mean to me. (laughs) This is not a game, Shay Nakazawa. This is your life. That's an 18. Sweet. To use your powers, roll 2d4. <laughs> a one. A two. So a three. What do you do? Um, there's a vine around me, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are being restrained by vines. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much I could do with a three, but I think at the very least I can untie myself. I think you can get your arms free and probably still, still be attached to the chair by your legs. And I but... definitely don't want her to know. Mm-hmm. So this is it? You're just going to make me lose and then you're going to try to make Frankie angry? I'm going to keep you here so you're very sad because I want you to lose. And I'm honestly, yeah, I'm hoping you'll put up a fight so I can take a lot more from you, Shay. 
I can take everything from you. Sydney, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to <laughs> you me. You don't really think I'm Sydney, do you? <laughs> Shay! <laughs> Shay! Kiddo! Shay! Shay! Hey, I'm right right over here! Shay! Uh, she, she goes to put her hand over your mouth. Um, roll flight. Can you block a hand with your... Yeah? Hands. Yeah. No, no, I'm yeah. gonna do... That's true. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, so as she goes in to cover my hand, I'm gonna... Uh, try yeah. to grab. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, make, is flight good for you? Flight is great. Cool, yeah. roll flight. DC six. That's a two. Two. So she gets her hand around your mouth and another arm around you. She is very strong. Yeah. Um, and so you all outside can hear kind of like a muffled. I think Alden and I are the closest. Yes. So I'd like to roll brains to Go see if it. I can locate Shay. Totally appropriate. Come on, dice. Six plus one, seven. Um, so you heard, Shay, you started to say something before she covered yeah. your mouth. What was yeah. that? Uh, hey, guys. You're, hey, guys. Alden, did you hear something? I did. I think it was that Shay boy. Did it? Did it? They do have similar voices. Did yeah. it come <laughs> from the hedge? I think so. Shay, are you the hedge now? Do you know how to use that axe? Of course. All right. <laughs> well, show me. I'd love to see it. And she holds it back <laughs> and just slams it into the, <laughs> slams it into the hedge. Um, this is what Evelyn and Miriam see as they approach. They're like turning a corner. <laughs> axe landed in. Miriam. <laughs> Wow. Um, Shay, you see an axe come through the head right where you came through. Uh, um, I'm panicking, and I know I've done a lot of these rolls today, mm -hmm. but this isn't intentional. Go for it. Yeah. Magic. Why not? Uh, it's a two, and I'm okay. going to use a point on this. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. I lose control, and we're in a dark, like a dark like, mm -hmm. thing, yeah. right? Um. It starts like caving in on itself, okay. like with the roots and stuff. <laughs> cool. And I think it's happening. Well, roll, and... roll a two d four to see how bad it is. Okay. No, wait. Use this one. Thank you. Two. Three. Five. Okay. okay. Um, it's happening. I think enough so that it's there's like rustling and commotion. Yeah, from... the, the whole it's like the room is shaking and I say room the 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 room made of hedges is absolutely shaking That lamp is kind of swinging side to side um, As this whole area is kind of undulating and shifting um, And starting to open up in places. Um, it's kind of sporadically including right in front of all of you outside um, Just like a door opens in front. Shay? My mouth's covered. I can't see anything. Sydney? Yeah, and, and you see Sydney with with just like wrapped around him. <laughs> or is she? Sorry, Sydney. Is this? A, <laughs> he is trying this a... to attack me. I don't know why. You have I your hand so over nice. his mouth. I know. He was. You should have heard what he was saying. He was calling I me so grab her ear. Uh, uh, uh. She pulls out a Nerf blaster <laughs> and points it at you, and you see something sharp at the end of it. Sydney, put that down. Put that down. This is an axe. Put it down. <laughs> this is a gun. Uh, I'm gonna, well, do you want to do something real quick? I'm gonna try to take her out of the judo move. <laughs> and a child? Yeah, she's putting a gun at me. I'm not, I'm not gonna take her out, but I'm gonna, like, sweep the leg. Okay, okay. go for it. Sweep the leg. I'm going to separate her from her weapon. Cool. <sighs> oh my god. Well, I rolled a 32. On the D12. What did you roll? A four. <laughs> on a D20. So you launch at her and she steps out of the way. She lets go of Shay, who is sitting like under the lamp. And you kind of cr uh, collide into the chair, toppling you and Shay to the ground. Um, Cynthia had sidestepped you. And she's kind of pointing the gun at all of you, the, the, the nerf blaster at all of you, and says, Okay, fine. Plan B. And she points up to the lamp and shoots it down. The room that you're in starts to erupt in flames as Cynthia takes off running. Jonas? Yep. I'd just like to say, the difference between a four and a 32, mm -hmm. I think I'm unconscious. Sure. That's fine. That, that's, you're unconscious, and before you go, 
you feel like something really bad happened. You're not sure what, but it's not going to be good when you wake up. Uh, uh, Miriam, I, 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 I rush in. I, I try to pick her up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, hey, I don't know what, what happened. Scoot, 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 Miriam, out here. Uh, Alden. Oh yes, yes, yes. Can you help? I, of course, of course. I, we need Who to put out the that? fire. That was Sydney. Well, I that don't like her. That wasn't Sydney. That was Cynthia. Um, Alden is like he's taking off his uh, jacket and starting to try to like fan out some of the flames as they're starting. It's building pretty quickly. Um, also, the room is like caving in still as a result of Shay's magic. I think uh, <sighs> Evelyn takes out a flare gun. This looks. I think this is <laughs> you know, <laughs> you shoot it? Evelyn, that will. <laughs> so, do you shoot it off? Yes. A flare gun. Uh, I, it starts to ignite some of the other foliage in here, um, but it does bring it all the way through. It's like a, Lights go up above. Like an ooh, ah, 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 ah. People just start screaming. Well, now they know Chaos outside. Really is a fire going um, on here. I think that we should all get out of here. This seems this uh, seems very bad. I don't know um, what to do. Uh, um, oh. Permission to lift your grandson? Uh, Miriam, are you kidding oh, me? Of, of course, of course. Oh, oh, Miriam, are you okay? To go faster. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and he, he picks her up, um, and he uh, so uh, one of the doors that open goes out of the hedge maze. He runs out that way. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. I'm sorry, I'm we sorry. Is it? No, I'm don't. sorry. Here, just get out of the maze first, and then we can have a moment. That tiny person is a monster. <laughs> She's the worst person I know. Sydney? It, it's it's not Sydney. Sydney. It's Cynthia. I don't know the difference. I uh, so I'm I'm gonna try to get out of it. Same. Cool. Um, roll a grit, everybody. Unless uh, you want to argue for something else. Uh, I got a five. I mean, yeah, I'll let you roll. Five. <coughs> cool. Four. Five, four, two, and Sam rolled a two as well. Um, so the 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 knock is always get out pretty handily. Are you are you kind of like beelining for the door straight out of here? Um, the, like the you're at a wall basically of the hedge maze. Um, to get out, or do you want to go deeper into the hedge maze where it's not on fire? Uh, deeper in. Cool. Uh, do do uh, does anyone pick up the axe that was left on the ground? No, I don't, I'm... Evelyn did. Evelyn has a cool. <laughs> oh my god! Um, so you go deeper into the maze. Where is Evelyn going? Um, I, well, I think she's just gonna follow the group. Cool. Yeah. Um, so Aiden or Alden, sorry, um, leaves all of you with Miriam. Exits. You do not see where they go. Um, but the three of you are heading deeper into the maze, and uh, I think, uh, Nami, if you want to guide where this is going now since you are taking the charge, where are y'all headed? Well, uh, as we're, like, running and, like, going directions, um, we're kind of heading back just the way that we came. Sure. Following the puzzle pieces. Oh. Shay, what happened? Well, I... As he starts talking, the, the walls around you start to shake as well. I don't know. This isn't normal. This isn't normal. I I started. I I just was moving some walls around, no. and no. It, everything seemed fine. And then I got ambushed, and I was so afraid for my life. And it's so scary, and everything's on fire, and I'm ruining it. And I'm. I don't know why this is happening to me. <laughs> Shay, um, come on, come over here. Let's let's go over by the chest. Okay, they have sprinkler systems and stuff. It should it should take care of the fire. Okay. So people should be fine. We got Miriam out. Uh, sit with me here. Um, put your hands in mine. We're just gonna breathe. Take a deep breath in, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Jay, I don't know why this is happening to you either, and I don't know what that demonic child was doing. And I'm definitely going to have to have a conversation with whoever that child's parents are. I don't know. Oh, it's Principal Pal. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
You know, that's kind of funny. His name is Principal Pal. Principal. Principal. Okay. Principal. <laughs> yeah, he gets that a lot and he doesn't like it. Oh, I wonder if he knew he was going to be a principal someday. What's his first name? You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard his first name's Prince. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Prince Pal. Prince E Pal. Prince E Pal. Wow. <laughs> Middle name Ethan. That's amazing. Shame. <laughs> come back to me. <laughs> Prince Pal. Oh. Oh. Hey, do you, do you want to put the axe in the butt? It needs a crack, son. You sure it doesn't go in a shed, Grandma? I put some thought into it, and also, Evelyn found a note, a tiny, tiny note that said something, and I can't remember, but it made me think that you were right. Cool. We've come this far. We've never made it this far before. It's very unorthodox. Is oh. this usually what happens at gardening club or at the agriculture tournaments? You know what? I w- I, in any other situation, I would want to say, no, no, it's not. But this is pretty typical, actually. Uh, we've, hey, we haven't had a death in five years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, let's just end this then. Let's do it. Put the axe in the butt. Okay. I put the axe in the butt. In the crack. In the crack. And there's that basket at the base of the butt tree. Like, there were all of them. And it's open. I don't think I mentioned that, but this one is open. Um, and uh, there's some rustling in the tree above. And you see just for a second a black glove pe- peek out and <laughs> drop a key into it. And then you see a person jump out of the tree and start running out of the hedge maze as fast as they possibly fucking can. Right, because magic doesn't exist. Okay, so. We'll grab the key. Right, yeah. Let's uh, get to the chest. Let's unlock it. Let's do this. I uh, run, oh, I, um, is it a straight line? Or? Um, it is, it is now. If you start beelining there, the hedge will open for you. I am flighting over. Cool. That is a six. Yeah, that'll do it. So you're all able to follow. Um, Evelyn, maybe you've actually seen something like this before, but my guess is you haven't, even being 101, but the walls are opening ahead of you as you go. I will let you... I have never seen anything like this before. (laughs) Yeah, it's wild. They really went all out this year. I don't think that's it. Nami... (laughs) The I key. keep running. <laughs> and you get to the chest, and the key like fits in perfectly. <laughs> you twist it to the left, the universal direction for unlocking, and you open the chest. <laughs> A light hits you all in the face, and we fade into the next day. We're all at the Bald Hospital. Um, you won by elimination. Um, you were the last team that was in the running. Um, one of the other, the Hornets' Grange display actually got burned down, which is weird because it wasn't near the fire. So maybe Cynthia had more than one beef. I'm sorry, I mean Sydney. <laughs> but you're all standing over the hospital bed of your friend and your, uh, your teammate, Miriam. Uh, Charlie is there as well. Um, sorry, not Charlie, Alden um, is there as well. Um, and Miriam, you... Wake up, your eyes just slightly start to open, and you see everyone standing over you. Who's the first person I see? Uh, it's Alden. You know, I thought I wanted a bad boy, but actually... No, I kind of still want a bad boy, but Alden, it's good to see you. I can be a bad boy. I was trying to make you lose at one point. That's not you great. Were. So you... maybe I'm a little bit bad. Don't uh, sit up just yet. Oh. Um, We're also here. Oh, yes. You're all your teammates oh, are here. Hello, um, everyone. Um, Miriam, they believe you're going to be okay. Your back is broken. Oh, dear. Is that why I have the yes. full body cast? So try not to stretch it. Um, if you're not opposed, I'm never busy. So I can be around. Me neither. <laughs> Bless you. That was a cough. Yes, I bless coughs. That's who I am. This nice. is not for you. <laughs> That's okay. It could be another thing. Alden? Or you? Alden. 
Alden, would you like to go on a date with me? I would love that. We could go to my big spooky house. I would like that. It's haunted. I'd be okay with that. Nice. Aww. Did we win? Yes, we did. Te- on a we technicality, won. yes, we did. Oh, what's a technicality but a- another way of saying that nobody else could keep up. Bring it home, Shay. Bring it home. <laughs> Who was that horrible nightmare child that made all of our lives a living hell and um, broke my back? Principal Bat's kid, Cynthia. Pri- I... Principal Pal? Mm-hmm. Did no one he believed- go to the principal's office all the time when he was a kid? No, well, apparently no one believes she did it. No one but us. We couldn't, nobody saw her. The, the camera feed cut right before Shay disappeared. She just ran into off. The walls. But Alden believes us, that's cool. Well, I was there. Oh, oh, right. I will oh, always right. remember. It was bad. So, just remember, um, there's two of them... And sometimes one pretends to be the other. So don't just confront the first uh, pal child you see. Yeah. It's tricky. I think I need to retire from judo. That's probably a good idea. (laughs) Can can I ask a question of you all? The the bald, jolly, green, giant, green, thumbs, weeby, weeds, and that's okay from bald? Yeah. You're for saying the whole name. Of course. I I always advocated for the whole thing. Why would I not? Uh, Actually, now it's... I came up with the last bit. She's the... The last bit is... Perhaps my favorite bit, other Mine than too. all of it being together. I heard you all opened the chest in the maze. What did you get? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Alden wants to join our team next year. Next time on Hijinks and Handlebars, <laughs> we'll find out what was in the Pulp Fiction briefcase. Uh, I have been your keeper. Uh, oh my god, you're your game master, your GM, Jonas Newhouse. Um, thank you so much for watching. We do this every Tuesday. Um, normally, uh, the cast of characters is a little bit different. We have Shay. Uh, I play a character named Derry, who did show up in this episode. Um, Sam plays Teddy, Tedward Tank Thompson. Gertie, sorry, Franny plays Gertie. Um, Gertie Fox, whose mother at least was mentioned. I think Frankie was mentioned as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you liked the kind of fun we have here, this was indicative of that. We we play like this even if we tell slightly different stories every week. Um, so check back in here every Tuesday, 7 p.m. at Q Times. Um, there's a lot of other great shows on here too. Um, we have a Court of Corvids show that William and I are both on. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit when we do our full outros. Uh, there is a Star Trek uh, show called, um, can someone remember? Clear Skies. Clear Skies, Clear skies um, that just started here. Um, that is very, very cool. If if, uh, if you like tabletop games, if you like Star Trek, if you just like space, um, check that out. All of our stuff is on the Q Times social media at underscore Q Times on Twitter. Um, they post about the shows coming up so you can keep in the loop there. Once again, I have been your keeper, Jonas Newhouse, and I am on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse. Say keeper again. Oh my god! <laughs> Kill me! Um, uh, I can, do you want me to cover your stuff too, William, or is your no, voice I can not do okay it. enough? Um, then I will just say Court of Corbett's Pathfinder 2 stream um, that I love very much. I play a gnome druid who just started shape shifting. Um, and that will be, uh, we'll be playing that tomorrow night, um, Wednesday at 6 30 p.m. Um, for this week. Next week, William and I will both be off as we will be on tour with our band Glass Beach. Um, oh, it's a West Coast tour, so we're hitting Orange County, LA, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, Sacramento, and Reno, Nevada. Uh, If you live in or near any of those places, we'd love to see you. All of the tickets and information are on our Twitter, at Glass Beach Band. And you can stream our album, the first Glass Beach album, which is really, really good, and I think you'll love it. Uh, All of that stuff there is on our Twitter, at Glass Beach Band. William! Yeah. um, So, also, I did want to add, normally, I'm the GM. uh, Yes. But I, I like, horribly lost my voice. Mm -hmm. We wanted to limit the amount that they needed to talk. Yeah. So, yeah, let me... Okay. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing Pathfinder 2nd Edition Court of, uh, Corvid stream tomorrow. That happens every Wednesday right now, um, until we're done with an arc, I think. And, uh, we will be on tour, but, uh, there will be a show. Yes. Uh, jammed by Sam in the interim that you don't have to be on. You're not on, by the way. So you don't have to be here either. Um... Uh, yeah, but if, if this is your first time catching everything, um, this is a very interesting episode. It's, I mean, it makes sense on its own, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, 
You should be fine. But uh, we are in our second season. We're a long, long, long running campaign so far. Um, close to like 50 episodes or something. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can check all of that out on the Q Times main YouTube channel. It's in a playlist called Hijinx to Handlebars. You can find that playlist by typing in bit.ly forward slash handle stream, capital, capital H, H, capital S. S. Uh, it's down below me. If you're watching this on Twitch, um, after it goes up on YouTube, if you could leave comments on the YouTube video and everything. I, I really like seeing the comments and it also like really helps us with, you know, engagement and everything. But I mean, first and foremost, it's like, it's really cool to, to go to, to our episodes and see that yeah. people are talking about them and that kind of thing. So that would, that would be really awesome if you do Please, that. Please uh, leave a comment below with your favorite um, gardening team. Uh, my favorite, <clears throat> the Green Giants. What's the full name? <laughs> <laughs> What's the full name? <laughs> Mohawk <laughs> Green Giants. No. No, the Mohawk Green Thumbs. Oh, no. You're thinking of the Ball Jolly up. Green Giants, Green Thumbs, Weeby Weeds, and that's okay. I am. Um, my so, favorite team is, yeah, my favorite team is the Green Thumbs, and you get to decide which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to be going back to main continuity with the regular characters and everything. I mean, this is technically main continuity. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um, our regularly scheduled programming in a couple um, of weeks. Yeah, not next week. Mm -hmm. But the week after, so yeah, that, that'll be cool. Um, if you if you join us for Court of Corvids um, tomorrow, I'm also going to be <laughs> trying to figure out what to do with my voice because uh, that that character sort of sounds something like this. Oh, that's actually like easier. Accurate. That's easier for me to do than my regular voice. <laughs> Maybe um, that should be your regular voice. <laughs> okay. You should so just be like, sick all the time. This is this is the voice that I have to use for that one, and like okay. That's way easier than my normal voice. What the hell? Okay, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at kwilliamwhite. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. I have been playing a character named Miriam Webster. Not Miriam Webster. Uh, That's just how she, everyone says it. She has been very, very fun uh, to play. But normally, I play a character named Teddy Tedward Tank Thompson. Uh, alongside uh, Derry Nazari, uh, Gertie Fox, and Shay Nakazawa. Um, this show is a whole lot of fun, and I also GM'd a whole campaign on the Q Times main YouTube channel uh, called Monster of the Week, uh, specifically Monster of the Week Pest Control, which also featured uh, Jonas and William uh, and our good friend Sammy. Uh, so if you like the two of them and you like shows like X-Files or Supernatural or Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, maybe go check out that. It's complete. Like, all 15 episodes of the campaign are up on the... Uh, the YouTube channel in a playlist called Monster of the Week, and I'm personally really, really proud of how it turned out. Uh, I will also, as uh, William set up, uh, I will also be returning here next week uh, uh, in place of Hijinx Hanna Bars, where I will be running Monster of the Week uh, for a couple of new people, uh, including Franny uh, and, and two other surprise guests. Uh, you'll have to tune in next week to see who those are, uh, but I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun and uh, you know who knows? Uh, there, you know, it's 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 gonna be fun. Come check it out. Hey, I've been uh, Chris Taniguchi playing Shay Nakazawa. Um, if you liked my antics, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Tanimato. I do animated stories and music videos. We, I I want to promote something. We just released uh, a song I did uh, with William called Refrigerator. It's on iTunes and Spotify now. It's so really good. Very out. good. It's uh, really good. I get to say it's very good because it's I super cute. I'm in love with the work William did on it. I nailed it. Didn't yeah. and Jay from Glass Beach also played keys on it, right? Played keys on so it. You yeah. like Glass Beach also? Yeah, it's right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say thank you for uh, being enthusiastic and down when I said we should do a game called Grandmas and Gardening. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I want to do that at some point. We were like, let's do it tonight. Tonight. Now. <laughs> yeah. It was very fun. Thank you for the idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm Franny. Uh, I usually play Gertie, but tonight I was playing Evelyn Evie Lynn. And um, <laughs> uh, yes, to everything said here, uh, check out Glass Beach. Check out Court of Corvids. Check out Monster of the Week. Check out Glass Beach. Did I already say Glass Beach? Mm -hmm. um, Glass Beach, yeah. And uh, you can find me on Instagram at J-U-S-T underscore F-R-A-N-N-I-E and on Twitter exact same thing with a K at the very end. All right. Well, some of us will see you next week. And no matter what, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.